Welcome, viewers, to Vintage Super Qualifier. Four RCQ slot, or well, four RC slots that you can qualify for are on the line today in what will be a over 150 player vintage event on Magic the Gathering Online. So, going to be one of the biggest vintage events of the year. Uh, not the greatest prize. You used to get, you know, two Pro Tour slots from these events, but now they've, you know, cut it in. And you just get RC invites, which is pretty silly in my mind. If I had to change things, I would immediately revert these back to actual PTQs and make Magic Online, you know, really worth it. But I can't make that change. So here I am playing in one anyways. Um, what do I have? I have PO. And I have been telling people everywhere, basically, on my Patreon um, in Discord and stuff that I'm going to play PO for this event. I think PO is super well positioned. I think PO is like very good against all the top decks that are being, play being played in the format today. Um, the only thing I was not crazy about was I didn't know if I wanted to play Three Island PO, which is what you see in front of you, uh, or Esper PO. Um, I think Three Island PO is really nice into this current Wasteland metagame. Um, really like the, the simplicity of it, uh, but I don't. But the power of Lavinia is not to be underrated. Lavinia is really, really good right now. I just didn't really like the rest of the white cards in Esper. I didn't really want to splash a second Tundra just for Lavinia. Um, the only super big changes here is I like kind of cut a lot of the clunky cards at the top end. So I'm going to try to play a Twister instead of like a Karn. And I'm playing another top as a way to make sure my Citadel is good. As a way to increase my artifact count for Metalcraft. I think top is like another way that PO kind of refills after matching up versus counter spells and i really think it might be pretty important it's kind of clunky that you have three tops but i've been getting a lot of tops countered recently so i think it might be okay and then two dress down uh have been obviously the um removal spell of choice in the main for this kind of deck for a while now uh, i am playing cut downs instead of pushes in the board because i think that this deck doesn't care much about constructs so this cut downs answering um our kind of Amiria without revolt makes sense Playing a bit of a different uh, Graveyard Hate suite with more Tabernacles and more Crypts. I think these cards just play better with PO, and they're, I think it's really important to have Tabernacles. Um, PO can't really play Leyline. I tried. It didn't really work very well, so a little rough there. Still on four Fluster, still on four Hercules. I think those are just kind of mandatory in the 75. And then I'm trying to play a Deluge against, like... There's like a lot of mono white players running around, some bug players running around, just as a, a catch-all way to deal with a multiple hate bear board. Uh, Opposition Agent is still my mirror breaker for um, like Saga, Tinker Saga, and for Doomsday. And then I still think it's correct to be playing a Tinker. Uh, you have the ability to switch to a robot of some kind. I personally think Sphinx is a little better than Blightsteel right now, but um, obviously Besaju came out, so there's a little bit of uh, tension there. All right, let's go jump into round one. Exciting news, everyone. I have just launched a new Patreon. There, you can show support for my content, grab additional weekly metagame recommendations, and even submit a donation deck list. Donation deck lists are the most frequently asked question on my channel, and I feel I am now ready to support this new content. Please check out the rules for submissions on the Patreon link in the description, and thank you for your continued support of my channel. Let's battle. Okay, here we are, round one, Vintage Challenge. Well, not Vintage Challenge, but just Super. Uh, this hand is good. It's not great because I can't cast the turn 1 uh, Narset, but it's not bad. Definitely going to keep it. Probably going to go Crack Island uh, Ponder and see what we can work with. Um, something like a Force of Will would make me feel pretty comfortable. Something like a Force of Will and a Tinker would be top tier. Hmm. So I can take two of these cards and fetch away the Citadel, but I don't really think I want to. I think these cards are just not very strong. I do think that um, Time Walk is like pretty decent with Narset, but it's like unlikely I would be able to cast Narset and Time Walk in the same turn. So Brainstorm is fine. Uh, I'm going to just play out the Jet to just 
uh, hedge against um, taxes and, and mine rig traps and stuff. But I'm going to keep the ruby in case it seems like I don't actually want, you know, maybe my brainstorm is a little bit better by having one extra card or something like that. I think my opponent might be on Doomsday, which Narset will be quite good against. But I wish I had some counter spells backups. Uh, I have a lot of Moxin now, but I don't have a lot of blue sources. This is like another example of like, if I had a Saga instead of a Scalding Tarn here, do I get some really big constructs, right? But I also like, can't cast my key spell. I think I want to just jam this Narset and hope it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Ruby to play around Days, and then I'm going to jam Narset, which can't be Flusterstormed. They basically have to have Force of Will or Force of Negation, and that puts them on a pretty small um, set. And if it resolves, it puts us in a really nice spot. If they are actually not on, like, Bug or something, or then I would want to fetch a, a, a you know, maybe a non-basic here, but I'm just going to keep fetching basics for now. Um, I'm going to not represent Pyroblast, just in case I hit, like, Narset into Vamp. So this might be Ancestral in response. Oh, they have Pyroblast. Oh, that's so bad for me. Uh, yeah, that's like uh, definitely a way where this falls apart pretty easily. So, All right, so my opponent is not on Doomsday. They are on maybe Breach, maybe Grixis Hull Breacher, maybe Four Color, maybe Oath. Okay, we have a lot of choices now. My opponent only has five cards in hand. We have a ton of mana, but uh, if they're on like Maharu Oath, we would be in a pretty unfavorable position. Looks like they're on maybe Javier Dominguez Rug, which is not a big deal. The deck is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I think I'm just going to lead with Time Walk this Tarmogoyf. Man, I really don't want to brainstorm lock myself here. Just hold up Fluster. Rug is not a great matchup for us. Like, there are a Collector Roof deck. They are a Pyroblast, a Flusterstorm deck. It's not a good place to be. I'm glad we played around Wasteland, though. Monastery Mentor. It's a great one in this matchup. I just need to find a fetch land for my Tundra or a Mox Opal. Perfect. So... I think I will... Hmm. I get... It's unfortunate, because I... I want to trigger my mentor, but I kind of think I need to make sure I take Flusterstorm. And I can't really wait on this tutor, so I think what I'm going to do is just put back Emerald, and or put back Tundra, and put back Emerald, uh, go Opal, Mentor, Flusterstorm back up, and then we can Mystical. Mentor is super good against my opponent's deck, so I'm really happy, but... But yeah, I think I needed to keep Flusterstorm for this reason. And then I need to be able to upkeep Mystical. So obviously I get wrecked by a, a, like a last card Lightning Bolt, but... Um, my opponent only had one card left in hand after all that, and they're on two cards Unknowns right now. And then I'm untapping and Mysticaling for something really strong, so... Probably just Tinker... If I had to guess, depends on like what they play, I guess. If they play Collector Roof, oh, they're going to cruise. Wow, that's really good. Okay. I'm going to, well, I don't want to play into uh, Flusterstorm, so I'm likely going to play, I guess Tinker doesn't play into Flusterstorm, does it? If they have Pyro, they, hmm. I could lose this game pretty easily here, right? This Mystical gets countered. Hmm. I could also just go Yogg. 
Yog into fetch land, ponder, repeal into brainstorm. And that doesn't get hit by Pyroblast. That probably is better than playing Ancestral or Paradoxical Outcome or Tinker. No, I think I think Yogg is the best. It beats Flusterstorm and Pyroblast. I think everyone who said one of the blue spells is probably not right. I have enough um, density in my yard to win the game off of this, so. Though, like, if they do Flusterstorm me, I pay, and then I have... Uh, it's still not even bad, right? If they Flusterstorm me, I pay, and then I go Scalding Tarn, Island, repeal my Opal, replay my Opal, cast Mystical for Time Walk or something like that. So even then, I'm still getting three Monks. They had force off of the tre tre treasure cruise off the top. It's pretty good. All right. Well, this this game is definitely on the knife's edge. Endurance. I don't really think this deck plays endurance right now. It's a big RCQ. No props. I mean, my opponent was able to resolve treasure cruise, so that's certainly an issue. End to a Narsa. Yep. Into a lightning bolt. <laughs> yep. Okay. I mean, Xerox is doing Xerox things. That has got to be the worst possible series of outcomes that could have ever happened to me there. Force of Will into Narsa into lightning bolt. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this game handedly. <laughs> I just like don't have good topics anymore, right? Strip mine as well. Well, Ancestral Recall. Is their last card another piece of counter magic? No. Okay. Well, they can't really attack. What? They can attack? That's nuts. There's no world in which I ever attack there. You're going to lose your Narsite and open yourself up to getting PO'd. You're crazy. Well, well a second Tarmogoyf, maybe. True Tinker at 9 life. If I had chumped, it would have been even better. Well, can't win them all. Uh, I wish I had chumped, but I felt like keeping both of them up to attack Narset was better. Probably still is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm just the most unlucky. It's okay. I, like even the three tops are bad hits because of Narset, right? So, um, yeah, I'm in deep shit. I don't know how this could have run worse. I mean, I could have not top deck Tinker, right? <laughs> All right, what do we got from it? What do we got off the top now? A mana vault, eight life, a fluster storm. <laughs> how is this real life? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, shit. All right. I mean, So bad for me. I don't really have an answer to this Narset either, so I don't I'm not really convinced I have like strong plays. Yep. I guess if I had dealt two damage to them, I could have maybe won with Citadel activation, but I think the losing this game from this situation was extremely low percentage, and I somehow figured out how to do it. That's crazy. All right, well, I'm going to bring in uh, Cut Down for Collector Roof and Sphinx, and then um, take out Hercules 
and take out Twister and take out Mystical. That's like a really frustrating way to start the tournament, but it is what it is. That's why I did. That's what I did. I took a hit from Tarmogoyf so I could swing back and kill Narset. Uh, but then they played a second Tarmogoyf. And then I would have to swing out and I would die. So, like, I could have block chumped the Tarmogoyf. The only way they ever attack there is if they have a second creature, right? So, like... I don't know what you're trying to say. Well, this hand's great. I'm going to put a Sphinx in play and hope it's good enough. Then I am making my Citadel worse. What? Why would I make? Why would I do that? My Citadel is terrible if I go to four. I can't cast any of the spells that matter. All right, they had a force. <laughs> okay. Ragavan. Fair. I mean, that's not true either. Um, I don't really agree with what you're saying, so. Yeah, I mean, Force of Will Ragavan with Pyro up is definitely going to make my life difficult. Don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to repeal it in combat and try to push through, I guess. Well, I mean, if I hit a, if I, if I had hit a draw spell off the top, I would have attacked the Narset with my two monks and killed it. But I bricked on my Citadel immediately. So, like, it doesn't really make sense to suicide a monk in and then not have a monk after and then die to an attack. <laughs> Okay, well, I got rid of their Pyroblast, so if I hit a Mox and I have, or a land, I have Snap Tinker. I don't think I want to, like, Suicide, or Ambush Viper there, so they hit my Underground Sea with the Ragavan. Obviously, they have enough mana to play another counter spell here. Well, oh, man, I don't know. So close. Probably wasn't like a very profitable idea to, <laughs> to snap um a tinker anyways. So I guess we'll just go for uh snap cycle repeat. <laughs> they drew strip mine again. Okay, all right. I guess if they just counter this, then I have nothing going for me. What is going on? They're hard casting Force of Will. All right, I'll play top deck games. I'm gonna play my Ambush Viper. <laughs> I did. I drew. I drew three restricted Moxen and a Tinker. I'm glad they didn't strip mine me. That would have been bad, huh? All right, top deck PO, please. That's a good one. Uh, now I'm gonna get strip mined and not be able to play anything. But it was a bad. It was a good draw. It was a good draw. I can't be mad. That's the, one of the best draws of my told my whole deck for sure. <laughs> I got Ren and Six strip mine locked. Okay. And then eventually they'll have um regrow pyroblast. What is this? Watch them play collector roof here. That would have been brutal. All right, land is probably winning, or Moxon, land, no. Anything? Soul Ring? All right, land, boom. Do I play Narset or do I play PO? PO gets me Flusterstormed, Narset, I'm gonna play Narset. And then maybe I can draw another blue mana, or, yeah, I mean, I, I can draw um other Moxon that lets me enable PO, okay. Uh, I drew Sapphire. Okay. I think Sapphire here is better than Brainstorm. 
Maybe the playing Sapphire is bad against them drawing Shattering Spree, but I guess that's a possibility. They can Spree for four. Yeah, Spree for four is bad for me here. Can't. I don't know if I can really play around that besides GMPO and hope they don't have counter. But like, if I got Flusterstorm there, I would be very unhappy. So. Okay, Mystic Sanctuary. Natty draw Mystic Sanctuary. Force of Will on top. What do you have else? Oh, that's just a sick draw, right? That counters everything. I guess Mental Misstep also beats Flusterstorm right here. So I am going to pick up my P uh, my Narset here. Yeah, not getting Strip Mind is really good for us. I agree. I think we might win this game, which is wild to me. Um, I think I just want to go for Narset Vamp Yog. Narset Vamp Yog. No, that's not very good. I don't have enough mana for that. Maybe we just go Narset Vamp Po. Draw four again. Well, no, I do have enough mana because I have a Black Lotus, right? I'm going to go with my original plan. Go Narset. Vamp. Yog. Oh. Okay. I can't believe we lost game one, so I'm I'm happy to win game two for sure. I really don't like my opponent's deck. Don't think it's very strong, but it's definitely good against me, so. Um I had lethal and my opponent top decked um treasure cruise into Narset, Narset Bolt, Narset into Bolt, Bolt my uh men monastery mentor and drew force of will off of the treasure cruise. Force of will blue card. <laughs> it's like I had like a pretty lethal mentor kill and my opponent uh, Xeroxed me. So it was like, I mean, that's what the deck does. So I could, it's not too big a deal, but it was brutal. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're playing Deathrite Shaman Slasher. I'm pretty sure this is the, uh, the Javier rug pile. This hand obviously is garbage. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This hand is also not good. Oh no, not like this. I mean, I can put away Dress Down and keep Tundra. I don't want to keep Tundra. I mean, that's not really a true statement. Uh, definitely Dar Death or Shaman decks were playing uh, Ragavan at one point. Does it? Like, our only good top decks are what, Mentor? I don't think this hand's good at all. But I also don't know if I can mulligan more than this. I also expose myself to Wasteland in my deck that has three basics. Because I'm pretty sure I have to lead Tundra top here. I think I'm supposed to keep this hand and just be sad. I don't really... I think you're allowed to cut Force of Will here. I think you just have to cut your dress down. I haven't even seen a Collector Roof yet. Uh, play a top game and hope that you can play a powerful spell with Force Backup off of your top. Like, top is really good here. It's just I'm really upset that I have Tundra and not Basic Island. But that doesn't mean I want to draw Basic Island. So, deck, don't get me wrong. If I could draw, like, a Mox, that would be a top-tier draw. Interesting draw, for sure. Um, I guess I'm okay if they take a turn and Waste Landing me, maybe. I think I have to keep this, but I, I, I'm not happy about it, right? It's definitely on the low tier of PO draws. Not much I can do. I think... Okay, look at that. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, it's Tundra was fine. <laughs> Triple strip mine. Uh, boy. Uh, do I want to expose it to Wasteland? I just don't want to use my fetch. My fetch looks really important in this game. <laughs> 
what's the point of playing three basic islands if I can't and, and eight fetch lands? That's not true. What's the point of playing all these fetch lands and all these islands if all I do is draw <laughs> draw the wastelandable lands? That's true. I think they have a Ren and Six, which is why another great reason to have kept Force of Will. Oh, it's a Tarmogoyf. Okay, then I don't give a shit. <laughs> I thought I was getting Ren and Six for sure, but it was just a Tarmogoyf. Alright, I get a spin. A dress down, a mana vault. Well, a mana vault puts me closer to PO here. So I take a I do I I take a mana vault. And then I probably fetch time. Oh, I don't want to fetch time. Well, I probably fetch time walk. Well, maybe I don't fetch. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really know where I want to go right now, though. Maybe I'm supposed to hold this time walk for my force. If I just go mana vault, fetch land, PO for three, it's probably good enough, right? Land, fetch, three. Yeah. Okay, let's just do that. Because they don't have anything else. I mean, I'm going to get dazed, I guess, but. I guess I can get Mind Break Trapped. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes again. I'm going to get trapped, but I don't care. I'll draw four, please. Force it back up. They have energy flux in. Interesting. PO? Okay. Magic the Gathering cards are happening. Let's take a big chunk of life. They have second flux spell pierce. That doesn't matter, though. I just hold all of my cards. And they slam flux, and then I try to murder them on the following turn. Okay, sure. I mean, I just don't understand why these decks keep bringing in Flux against me. Hopefully they didn't drop Force back up after this, but... That's not a great draw. So what is my best course of action? I want to use my Talarian Academy. I think it's probably just like Mana Vault, Soul Ring, Lotus, Top, Spin Top, and then we can decide from there. I mean, this goes badly if my opponent drew force, right? But whatever. No, I don't think I want to brainstorm and if my top is like bad, right? Snap PO and a repeal. Okay. So I think now, man, see, brainstorming is still so bad because I don't want to draw the cards after this. So I have Academy Snapcaster, but Brainstorming is probably fine because I want to keep the extra man. Well, I don't keep any extra. Well, you want to draw the extra card off of PO, right? Oh, I have to at least snap PO this turn for sure. I think we're just going to go Academy Snap PO. How much mana? Yeah, that's fine. I have just enough mana. And then maybe I just don't replay my cards. Because, like, the energy flux just doesn't matter right now. Tinker. Okay. So, I think we should tinker. Um, and I think the best way to do that... Maybe I don't tinker. Hmm... So I can put a Sphinx in play. I just want to protect it against like Wasteland Flux. I could I could also just tinker for a Citadel here at 13 life with a top. Okay, maybe I'll do that. It's got to be winning.
Um, okay. So I can repeal the flux after playing this and then force it on the way back down with three life. Like it puts me exposed to bolt off the top. My opponent has two unknowns. If their unknown is lightning bolt and they draw land off the top and go land flux, I force and they bolt me, I die. Uh... Man. Like I can play this card next turn. Yeah, I guess if I play Besaju, I also die. Okay, that's just winning, right? I feel like that's gotta be... Okay, so I'm gonna respond... To this PO on top by bouncing the flux, drawing the PO, vamping for a time walk. Oh god, there's no time walk. Uh, <laughs> uh I'm gonna go to seven. I can just cut down this Tarmogoyf. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just cut down this Tarmogoy. That just leaves me with like the most health and I can still force and I can still PO on my upkeep if they do anything bad. Oh, I can't cut down this Tarmogoy. Okay, well. Uh, man, we're playing really badly today. All right, I'm just going to go to the next turn. <laughs> cut down, can't kill Tarmogoy. Okay, cool. Um, That's bad. So this becomes a 5-5, five, five, and I'm going to go to 1. Wow, I could not have played this game any worse. <laughs> it's fine. I played this game about as badly as I possibly could. Oh, they drew Wasteland off the top. Uh, I might lose this game now. Wait, they're not going to play Energy Flux? Do I actually want this to force this, though? I can just PO on my upkeep. If I ran out of mana because they drew Wasteland really badly... Okay, I'm just gonna go... I played this game terribly. I deserve to lose, for sure. I just can't cut down this Tarmogoy. <laughs> if I had Fatal Push, it would be absolutely no problem, but because I played... Uh, I'm actually running out of blue mana. How does that happen? I need blue and white mana. I might just lose. Wow. Crazy. Oh, I drew Yogwill. Is that good? Oh, there's a white mana. Okay. Uh, let's just get a Sphinx in play. Oh, I don't have enough mana. Uh, Black Lotus. 
Yeah. Oh my god, I used my land drop and now I can't use my <laughs> and now I can't use my um That's so funny. Now I can't use my Talarian Academy. I I can't believe how badly I played this deck. It's it's crazy. Uh I will probably die to mentor triggers, so I'm not going to play mentor out right now. I got rid of my Flusterstorm like an idiot as well. <laughs> I, I'm not making any plays correctly. I'm just trying to play as fast as possible. Yeah, I mean, like, dying off the top, for sure. Oh, I went to one life for no reason, too. I'm just going to attack with Sphinx. I'm just playing horribly. I'm just trying to finish as fast as possible. I had cut down for the win there. I just didn't do it. I'm, like I said, I'm just like making all kinds of crazy errors. Just I'm just trying to finish as fast as possible. I, I threw this game in about 800 different ways. But I'm trying not to like die to a random something that goes wrong here. So embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed by this game. I look like a complete idiot playing this game. I'm really lucky my opponent doesn't have collect roofs in their deck, or apparently. Oh my lord. What time is it? Uh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, chat. We're back for round two. Uh, went touched some grass, found some energy drink, got some breakfast. Um, hopefully we'll be in a better spot going into this next round. I do believe match one may have been one of the single worst matches of Magic I've ever played. And we caught it on stream, so that's exciting. <laughs> um, the good news is that PO is a, such a broken deck and so forgiving that it didn't really matter. Let's go to game, let's go to match two here. Definitely a keep here. We have a force. We're one Moxon away from a, like a top tier PO draw. Uh, I don't know if I'm paying someone to move yet or moving myself. Um, I don't have that much stuff, to be honest. I don't own, I don't like owning things. I like to keep pretty minimalist if I can. So the weave stuff was like one little small box. I don't, I, try, like, I don't own any figures or anything, so. Oh, uh oh. Are we turn one dead dead? Okay. Looks like we're getting oops all spelled. My opponent having probe is like really annoying, but they probably would have named Force of Will anyways off this therapy, so I can't really be too sad. We are still in an okay spot if we get to pet to our turn. 
we're not in a great spot by any means, but if we hit Moxon, okay, so it's, it's a slow, it's a slow oops all spells draw that doesn't look very strong. I still think like if they had therapy, they would have named force, right? So uh, just an off color Moxon that's not like an opal is pretty strong here. Oh my god, they're dead. Okay, I mean, that's the best, probably the best draw my whole deck, so. I don't think it's worth playing like a round of force here by playing a land drop. Maybe it is. Maybe I should have done that. Eh, I don't really think so, though. If they had a force, it puts them on no cards, and I just don't care. I mean, PO's broken. Like, <laughs> this is PO. Do I have enough for snap PO here? Uh, or blue. Yeah. I mean, not tap. Okay. Well, maybe my opponent should have taken my paradoxical outcome with their cabal therapy. Or even like taking uh, Soul Ring would have been pretty interesting as well. Who's the all in combo deck now, opponent? All right. So, opponent is on Oops All Spells. I'm going to bring in Tormod's Crypts and Needle. And I don't know if I'm supposed to bring in Fluster or Agent. We'll have to take a peek at this Oops All Spells list. Um. I was going to play the set, the land because I have time walk. I can kind of do whatever I want. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not convinced that I want to play too many flusters, but they do play like, um, you know, Pact of Negation, right? So, like, they only play two tutors, but their tutors are also really good. Four Pact, Four Ritual, Demonic, Tinker, Unmask. I gotta play with Four Fluster here. Um, and especially if they bring in a bunch of negations. On, maybe not right now. Alright, so I'm gonna take out one of my islands. I'm gonna take out my... Not taking out my Dress Downs. My Dress Downs look quite good. Take out my Hercules. Take out my Repeal. Take out my Mentor. Take out my Twister on the draw. I don't think you need Mentor at all in this matchup. You're kind of the controlling deck. Maybe we, like this is just not good enough. It's only hitting Tinker Demonic, even though Tinker Demonic are their best cards. Do I would I rather keep Time Twister? Yeah, I actually think Top is fine. Don't think that that's a huge problem. I guess I'm just like trying to figure out if I would rather keep Mentor or Twister. Kind of just like think Twister is really bad here, where they're gonna empty their hand and then doesn't seem good against them. So this way, I bring in an extra counterspell and some graveyard hate, and I take out, like, the utility cards and the extra land. That makes sense to me. I mean, like, the reason you might bring in Opposition Agent is because two of their cards are Demonic and Tinker, and they're very, very strong. <laughs> what is this hand? This hand, uh, I mean, you probably can't keep it against Oops on the draw anyways if I didn't have a Citadel, but it is pretty funny. Looking for a hand that has a Force of Will. It has to have a Force of Will, basically. Uh, the hand doesn't work either. Uh, they're going to 5-2. Okay, this has Force and Tormods. This is what we're looking for. It doesn't do anything, but um, you're not really here to do things. You're here to stop your opponent from doing things. So... Oh, that's a fucking hard one. I don't think this is a snap misstep. There's a lot of consequences for this. If I counter this and they go land dark ritual... They have three cards left in hand, though. I think I'm going to misstep this. Okay, that worked really well. Blue card. Beautiful. PO is at its best when it's doing nothing. 
I don't think it's a snap misstep, but I think it's definitely a reasonable. Oh, that's a nice draw, too. All right, look. Okay, Mentor is definitely much better than Time Twister here. <laughs> Mentor sometimes is, like, too slow in these combo-based matchups, so that's why I was considering getting rid of it. But um, I think anybody is good here. Anybody find me. Um, am I going to go Ancestral? Um, yeah, I'm just going to get Ancestral. So, oh, they hit the blue land. It's better than for us than them hitting a black land for sure. Okay, I'm definitely going to play Mentor now. All right, I have a clock. I have protection from the graveyard combo, and I have a force. I'm not convinced a force is good enough because they can have pact of negation, right? But um, thankfully, we misstepped their acceleration, acceleration, and then um, drew. Sheesh. Okay, they don't even have a belcher. Interesting. Dress down. Okay, dress down doesn't really matter once we have Tormod's crypt. But Dress Down is still actually pretty reasonable. What, they just packed this? Uh, I wish I had a repeal. <laughs> um, I mean, that's fine. I think I'll cycle this Dress Down. I mean, I'd rather draw three cards. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to cycle this Dress Down. It's like really hard for them to kill me this turn because I have they have to pay for pact, so like they can't like end a step chain of vapor or anything like that. Sure. I mean I'm pretty close to winning the game, right? So uh I wanted to deal damage, extra damage with mentor, right? So why would I do it second main? You mean like in in beginning of combat in attackers maybe? How many spells do I need here to? I don't know. Why would I lose damage? Prowess is still happening. What 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 about that would lose damage? I gained one extra damage by triggering prowess. So I'm at four. I'm at seven. I need uh, one to ten. I need three more spells. So Snap Ancestrals probably gets me there. Any Moxon. Or I could PO and then that's guaranteed. So let's just PO. So it looks like we got this game as well. I feel pretty lucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was a beating. We drew pretty well. I have to. I have to admit, we drew pretty well. I think opponent drew fairly poorly as well. So sometimes that happens. All right. Here we are. Round four. Vintage. No. Round three. Vintage Super PTQ. We're up against Nox Tom, who has multiple top eights with this new Jeskai list. Uh, Wastelands. The good news for us is in the main, it's just six forces. Two negation. Um, no pyro, no fluster in the main. Post board, they board in one fluster, three pyro, and some shattering sprees. So it gets worse post board. Here we have a very broken hand. We're just going to keep and probably win. The opponent doesn't play any Lavinias in the main either, unless they changed. I bet they play like a Dreadhorde Arcanist or something. Yeah. All right. So this should just be lethal, assuming we don't get... Oh, that's a good draw. So now we can't even get... Wrecked too badly. Like now we can actually play our land if we want, and that way we can hold up Flusterstorm for our Black Lotus, which is important. Uh, no, I, I think I would rather just probe their hand, and then if they have a force, I'll go, uh, I just do my thing. I, I don't think, I think I'd rather hold my mystical for time walk, right? Mystical for time walk is going to give me probably a guaranteed kill, right? So. I 
I mean, this hand is completely broken, right? That's... My opponent has misstep and negation. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to play my Tarn, uh, not cracking it, and then play my Black Lotus, so that way I can uh, Flusterstorm my negation on Black Lotus. And now uh, we're in a good spot. My webcam? My webcam should be fine. I have it on like a delay, so it should sync up with um, my voice pretty well. I did a lot of work on that at one point. It's probably not like perfect, but it should be pretty close. So my opponent actually does have messed up for mystical, which means we don't have like a guarantee kill here or anything, but if it's not synced, you should um, refresh your browser. Uh, that can definitely happen. All right. They chose not to negate my bolus of Citadel. Okay. So let's just start casting spells. Oh no, I'm going to draw my time walk. It's kind of annoying. I can't actually protect my time walk. Hmm. That's kind of annoying, huh? I just didn't hit any. I guess I drew force, so now I can protect my time walk. I guess I'll just time walk. <laughs> okay. That wasn't exactly a very strong citadel, but I don't think it matters very much. Especially we can mystical for Yogwill. I'd like to get like a mentor in play before I do that, but I don't think it matters. I think they knew that I had a fluster. I don't know. I'm not really on her. I'm not exactly sure why they shouldn't choose to negate. I mean, I definitely probed. Like they know the negate's not going to work because I probed them and tinkered anyways, right? So I don't know. Maybe there's like some value in, in holding like, to be fair, the way this currently is set up, they now, if I didn't have force, they actually have negation for my time walk and I don't have fluster available. So I guess it kind of did something, right? Like, the assumption is that I can beat their negation at all times, right? I don't know. This was a really, like, not a good uh, Citadel, obviously. They just, okay, they didn't choose to negate that either, so maybe they're just trying to see if what I'm on. Okay, I'm going to try to Ancestral through this, and then they'll misstep it, and then I'll fluster the misstep. Or I could just yog will. Hmm. I don't really have like a guaranteed way to win, but I do have time walk, so. I don't think it matters. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it matters very much. I guess I don't really want my Ancestral to get negated, though. I don't think that matters either. I'm trying to, like, actually win, but none of this has been very deterministic. <laughs> I guess I should be tinkering for a top. So I could Mystical for Yogg, Tinker for top, Time Walking, try to find a Mentor. 
I mean, I have force back up, right? So don't think it matters. Okay, I think... I still think I just want to drop these three cards, though. They might concede off this, to be fair. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Island. Should be holding priority. Uh, all right. So I'll go mystical and I'll go yog. And then I have Ruby, Lotus. Mm. I only have three blue sources to work with here. I think I start by tinkering for a top. I don't have that much life left. I had three tops in my deck too, which is kind of annoying. But I have a time walk turn, so it shouldn't matter. There we go. I found a PO. Okay. Good. All right. So that's lethal. All right, just need to not do anything that kills myself, and then this is uh, deterministic. I have no mana crypts in play. Okay, um, that was like a little awkward because I just didn't hit like a top naturally, but it's fine. There was probably some optimizations to be made there. Okay, so my opponent is on uh, this Jeskai Luris deck with Dreadhorde, Jace, Ragavan. Um, but the good news is they actually are really low on counter magic for a Jeskai deck. They're only on um, six forces, three pyros, and one fluster. Uh, they also are on no Lavinias as of the last time I checked. This is like a really interesting deck and a deck that Nox Tom really excels with, but I think it's not the way I would build this deck. Um, so we are we have some opportunities here. We do have to be aware of like Shattering Sprees coming in and four counters are coming in, uh, but we can be a little happy that it's not like eight counters, right? So the question will be, I'm going to bring in a Fluster for sure. And then, do we play anything else? Like, Fluster, Hercule, easy switch. But, like, do we care enough about any of their creatures to bring in cut down? I don't think so. I mean, Time Twister and Mystical are kind of bad. So maybe they, we can bring in... Um, maybe we can bring in a cut down... No, like, Dress Down's still, like, a blue card cantriping, PO card. Like, it's better than playing Cut Down against them. It's not, like, the almost unreasonable card here. Like, what am I boarding in? Like, nothing I'm boarding in here is good. I can bring in, like, Needle, but I don't really care. Maybe I just, like, keep my whole deck. I could board in Sphinx, but if they keep in Swords at all, it's not very good. I don't know if they would keep in Swords, but... 
I just don't see like a lot of value. Maybe we take Mystical out and we play. I don't even want to take Mystical out. They're only on three Pyro. Uh, it's kind of tough. I think I'm just going to bring in the fourth Buster and say that I'm, I'm good. I don't know. I don't really think this is what I want to be doing. Yeah, I'm going to actually just run it back. Don't really like my other options. Like, I just don't think their creatures matter. Like, we could die to their creatures, right? But it's not really because of the creatures. It will be well, I mean, Ragavan maybe can steal, but we have three tops. Ragavan shouldn't be an issue. I do think Time Twister is bad, but I don't think it's worse than I don't think any of the other cards are better, though. I agree. I don't think Time Twister is like particularly good here, but it might be nice to just have another threat. Sand's like pretty medium, but don't think you're mulliganing it in this matchup. And another on color Moxon. We got Jace. Time walk. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't disagree. I definitely don't think Time Twister is good here, but. This hand gets kind of good if I draw Moxon, right? Mana Crypt is pretty reasonable. I think they're just looking for a fetch for a red source probably here. I mean, we'll get super punished if they play like a Lavinia, right? But um, we have Dress Down, so it's not like we have no outs. Bluster Storm was not really a good draw for us. So now they get to do the Dreadhorde uh, Xerox thing. So that's pretty good. I mean, they had a really nice hand, right? This is um, Sapphire Time Walk. It would be better if they had like Dreadhorde Lead and then go on Preordain. Oh, nice. So they're going to Mystical for Ancestral and I don't have my Flusterstorm up. I don't really think I'm supposed to hold up Flusterstorm there. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So they're going to draw like eight cards here. Yeah. I mean, with my hand being kind of anemic, this definitely works out. So my opponent goes to eight cards after this Dreadhorde attack. That's wild. Definitely makes it very unlikely we're going to win this game. But that's like pretty high tier draw for them. And I, we didn't really have a strong draw. I don't really think our draw was bad. Like I can't really mulligan this kind of grindy draw against the deck that is like this slow. But it's definitely hurting us for sure. Another Moxon, huh? I think I want a natural draw in case I can find... Uh, maybe I need to spin. Ugh. Nothing is going in my favor here. Everything has gone really, really poorly. Hmm. My opponent gets to do another Brainstorm or Mystical here. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't think we're, we're doing it. I don't think we're doing it. Hmm. My opponent has more Moxon than I do. I'm jealous. Yeah, this one got out of hand really quickly. To be fair, our opening hand was completely broken, right? So give them a broken hand back and we'll play a real game three on the play. I don't know like what I could have done in this game besides um, have force in my opener and have it not get countered. So. so now they have Mystical for Time Walk if they want it. Okay. Um, would I rather just play Sapphire? I think I'd rather have Sapphire than Lotus here. Kind of interesting, but I mean, I think like they're gonna counter my spell and then shattering spree me, right? That kind of feels like what's gonna happen. Like they have seven cards in hand. How are we ever resolving anything?
Uh, I at least can like repeal the sapphire and then I mean I technically can fluster this but doesn't really feel like a val valid play here I mean, they might just, like, Mystical Sanctuary. For I mean, they don't even, like, need to counter this. They could just blast it on the way back through with the Dreadhorde. Uh, yeah, but I just don't think it's worth it. Like, I think I want to keep this repeal for when they Shattering Spree me. That way I can pick up my Sapphire, um, pick up my, my top, and then, like, lose an Opal or something, right? I mean, I assume my opponent. I just don't know how we how we're ever winning this game. <laughs> I don't know what like my line forward is. They have like so much mana, and they have so many cards. It's crazy. <laughs> Mystical tutor for spree, maybe. I don't know. I guess they could just mystical for treasure cruise or or dig through time or something too. They went for shattering spree, yeah. Normally, I'm like not a super big fan of shattering spree against PO, but if you're this far ahead, it's definitely reasonable. Is this a cruise itself? Oh, is this a prismatic ending? What makes you cost cast? It is, yeah, it's, it's cruise. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who needs the mystical for cruise? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Everything's bad. <laughs> Everything is bad. Yeah. I mean, this isn't even that big a deal for me, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, this is going to get, like, misstepped, right? No, I think I am going to fluster, even though it's not great. I'll just, like, fluster with... One copy on Opal, three copies. One copy on Opal, one well, copy on each spree, and then four copies on Repeal. On a mental misstep, sorry. I, I I don't know. I think it's bad no matter what happens, but I don't I don't really see us. Like I said, I think this game was lost on turn one, unfortunately, and it's just kind of uh, dead time until we play the next round. Yeah, yeah. As long as I'm not playing too slow, like, there's not a lot of lost value by going for it and just trying to play fat, play a little bit. Like, oh, they're going to blast the repeal after everything, and then they're going to pay for both Shattering Sprees. Well, that lets me technically draw Tinker Fluster, right? No, not really. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to spin for misstep, I guess. Okay. Well, you, they tapped them out. I don't know. There are worse things. 
Ruby Merchant. Man. I mean, I can get an Ancestral. I just don't really see the world where that's winning. But I guess we're going to go for it. Okay, you go. <laughs> They're out of preordains, right? Everything's fine. <laughs> oh. Now they can fetch for Sanctuary and get Cruise back on top, right? Oh, they probed me? It's pretty good. Yeah. This is the difference, though, right? Like, uh, a Jeskai Broken Hand is going to win on turn tw 12, even though it won on turn 1. And a, Just and a, and a Tinker Broken Hand is going to win on turn 1 on turn 1. <laughs> oh, man. Jeskai's win condition is opponent's boredom, for sure. I'm so dead. <laughs> hey, they did keep in Wasteland. These are the kind of things I wanted to know about. Like, did they keep in Wasteland? Did they keep in Jace? Did they keep in Ragavan? Negation. Okay, next. Um, yeah. All right, let's go next. Um. Okay, I'll take out Mystical for a cut down and... I think on the play, I actually just want this Time Twister. It's not good, but I think I just want it. I kind of just want to find a powerful hand that has a bunch of flusters in off and early. It's kind of how you beat... Um, Jeskai, traditionally, is you just, like, have a more powerful draw with Fluster. I don't really sphin think Sphinx is the answer. No. All right, give me Tinker, baby. Tinker with Flusterstorm backup on turn one. That's not too much to ask for, right? We've already done it once. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a hand. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold up Flusterstorm and try to spin for a blue card or a, a land so I can play Fluster's uh, Ancestral with Fluster backup. I don't really have time for that, Hiko. I gotta play this match. If my opponent plays a preordain here, I'm kind of interested in flustering, untapping, spinning. With my emerald. It's a little aggressive, but I kind of like it. Oh, never mind. I don't want them to see my hand.
Why, Gataxium Probe? Why? I can get punished for this super badly, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to outmaneuver them if they know my hand. Are they going to fluster back? <laughs> oh, they, drew, they had Ancestral the whole time, huh? Yeah, I mean... You got it, homie. Definitely bad for me. They kept Ragavan. Interesting. Yeah, I think this game... I need my Ancestral to resolve, so I think I want to play it with Flusterstorm back up. Jeez! No, these are so bad. Um, man, okay. It's just a nightmare mode. They're going to have misstep after their ancestral, too. All right, the good news is everything resolved. I still have Fluster up, and I have Spin on my top for this Ragavan. The bad news is we have no action, and if we get Shattering Spreed, I guess we have Fluster, so maybe it's fine. All right. All right, so use my top to negate the Ragavan, hopefully. I guess I lose my academy and then draw repeal. Not like thrilled about that, but it definitely feels like the best option. Bruh. I don't really want this to happen. I'm going to fluster it. So I've used like almost all of my flusters. Oh, what the heck? Why is the storm count so low? Uh, I'm bad. It's fine. Now I can't even spin with my top. Uh, sorry. I don't know why the storm count. I thought the storm count was higher. It's okay. That might lose the game though. So I just thought the storm count was higher. I, I think I'm already pretty dead in this game because of the ancestral problem, but that is probably game losing. They're probably just going to shattering spree me now. It was already pretty bad, but they hit Opal anyways. Oh, I just made a mistake. I thought the storm count was higher. I don't know. It's like pretty rough for me anyways. I'm probably dead. I mean, playing against Just Guy in the age of uh, 2022 is just a uh, very unlucky. Not much to say. I had a great opening hand, but uh, besides that, not great. No, I fetched. I don't have a repeal anymore. They're just going to Shattering Spree me and I lose the game. I, I That's just how it is. It's fine. Uh, it was probably lost anyways. Yeah. I mean, you bet against <laughs> you bet that I would beat Jeskai. What, what were you thinking? Even if they only play four pyroblasts, uh, it's fine. My opponent's hand was ancestral ruby probe. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> this this is so bad for me.
Ja. It's like it's like one of the worst possible matchups in in all of um vintage, so it's not really a big deal. Was able to get there with like just a super strong game one hand, but nothing else was going to work. This game, like, it feels like it should have been winnable, but with the way my first spin went and the way their first turn went, it was probably never going to be winnable. I could have chosen not to fluster the Gataxian Probe, but the problem is um, they would have known I had Ancestral versus their Ancestral. They would have known I had Flusterstorm, and then I would have spun, missed on my blue source, and my opponent would have just free-reigned me anyways. So I don't really think that it was that big of a deal to, to fluster the probe. So. But, I mean, we were just getting murdered by, like, random creatures, so. Uh, I know I'm drawing Dress Down, <laughs> which is completely useless here. And then I need to spin away my... I'm just, I'm just completely dead, right? Yeah, there's just no counterplay. I mean, Monkey was, like, not really the problem here at all. Like, Monkey just existed. Monkey is, like, pretty bad against Sensei's top. The real problem was my opponent resolved Ancestral <laughs> into Time Walk, right? I don't think that Monkey matters very much. Um, I, I'm off it. It's, it's fine. Let's just go next. Okay, here we go. Now we're in round four. I don't have any more losses to give. Have to win out. Uh, looks like opponent maybe on mono white. We'll see what happens. Uh, they didn't reveal Alluris, so maybe not. This hand is a little anemic, but probably keepable. We have a ponder and a probe, so. Gonna probe first, and then we'll ponder. Um, if my opponent uh, has a wasteland, then we can maybe fetch an island, and we lose out on our ability to shuffle away ponder, but don't get wastelanded. <laughs> Though it depends. It depends on what the opponent's first hand looks like, so. All we're looking to do is see what our opponent's counterspell suite is, and then um, build our PO. Not really, like, thrilled with keeping this hand, but I don't think it's a mulligan. Like, PO really doesn't want a mulligan if you can help it. Like, it doesn't mulligan terribly, because it does have, like, all in Tinker and PO hands on its sixes and fives. But it's definitely a deck that wants card volume. So, but I mean, I could see someone mulliganing it just because you have double Opal that are both not turned on. I just think if you're going to be given double cantrip, then it's probably acceptable. Opponent on the mole. Interesting they're not on mono white Luris because that's the only recorded thing I have for them. Let's see what they're on. Maybe they're on uh, my fixed mono white deck. They're on... What did my opponent just keep? My opponent kept Ancestral, Wasteland, Wasteland, Stripmine, Oko, Ragavan. <laughs> All right. Okay, these are good draws. These are really strong draws. Yep. Oh, I don't know if I want... I really don't want to fetch away my other fetch land here, but... Kind of have to... I get things going. We almost have a really strong self-contained PO, so. Um, okay, I mean, Mentor should be the way to go here. We also have Snap Probe. And Double Top. Yeah, that looks reasonable. So they're gonna strip mine me? No, they drew blue source. Opponent, why are you like this? 
Uh, so good. Do I just jam uh, Mentor and hope it works? I mean, don't you overdraw here? They just overdrew? I guess if they hit force, it's worth it. Um, I think I just go... I mean, PO is winning, right? So... Probably I'm just supposed to cast PO. Though I can't actually replay my board. So I don't actually want to cast PO. Unless the fourth card down... Or the third or fourth card, fourth or fifth card down is a land or a mox. I'm just gonna go mentor. They pitch for Agavan. Makes sense. So did they draw force off of Ancestral? No. All right, well, I have as many monks as I have mana. I also still have PO. My opponent's hand was like an interesting keep for sure. Don't know about it. But they drew the blue source, so it can't be that bad. They draw, watch them draw like Moxin and Oko, my Pia, or Oko, my mentor. I guess we would kill Oko in that situation, which is not the end of the world. Alright, they drew another fetch. So now what? Is it going to be, uh, oh, what if they play Oof? Oh, Ragavan, sure. That's kind of interesting, I guess. I think we just win this game with Mentor. Yeah, this is a serious PO deck. Ragavan is horrible in Vintage. Uh, but people keep playing it because they think it's a good card. I'm going to make one more. I think Ragavan should not be played in Vintage at all. All right. Your move, opponent. I have the power of the restricted creature. Nice uh, mentor double top interaction there. I'm a little, ha I'm pretty happy to come away with the win in that game because my hand was not good. So I'm going to bring in uh, Sphinx and cut down and maybe Fluster. And I'm going to take out, I'm going to leave in Citadel, but I'm going to take out Twister, um, Mystical, Hercules, and. Um, what was the other card I cut in this matchup? Maybe it was a top. Can't really remember. Maybe I don't want all these flusters. Four fluster is a lot of fluster. Uh, yeah. I mean, third top is so bad against oof. Uh, I definitely don't care about Needle. 
I don't. I just don't think Needle is the way you want to approach the matchup. Um, and then I don't know if they're a deck I want a Deluge. So like, I don't want a Deluge against Rug, right? But I do want Deluge against uh, Four Color Death Ray Shaman. So it's kind of hard to say. I don't know which deck they're on. So it's tough to say. Because, like, Deluge is really bad against, like, the Tarmogoyf rug deck. And then Needle is not really the axis you want to fight them on. Like, if I knew they were... If I, if I, like, know their list and know they're on four oops, then I would cut one Opal, one Top, and maybe one PO. And play that kind of stuff. But... <laughs> Brutal. I'm going to try this, and then we'll get more information if we go to game three. I really, I just don't know what's in my opponent's deck. All I know is they have Oko Ragavan. Jeez, okay. Yeah, sure. That's a hand. I mean, we've played against mul three Pyroblast decks this tournament. It's kind of, uh, we're pretty lucky to be where we are, right? What did we play? We played against uh, Rug, and we played against Oops All Spells, and we played against Jeskai, and now we're playing against Rug or Four Color. I do think I'm just going to use my Mist up here, though. It's like pretty high value. Show me your secrets, opponent. Oh, they are on ma multiple collector roof dot deck. All right. Well, they tapped out. They should never play this Ragavan, by the way. Just th this is bad. Hold open your Pyroblast against PO here. Um, there's really no excuse for for casting Ragavan there. Ragavan should probably be cut post board anyways. Um, this is just like very ridiculous. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up just repealing to buy a turn, but I can still ponder with a fetch land, so, Ugh. I mean, a top isn't bad, but it's not really what I want. Of course, it would be better. Marset. Okay. I just don't like the way my opponent played this game. I would be cutting Ragavan's post board against the top deck, and then I also you should be leaving Pyroblast open so that you don't get destroyed. They needed to draw a Mox in this turn. a huge time walk and then we're just going to untap and murder them uh we're tri double black away from that one uh do i don't have a po yet do i want to snap ancestral probably is that better than nar setting not actually sure I mean, I'm just trying to find a PO, right? Oh, no. That was the worst possible outcome, right? Um, Wow. That was definitely the worst outcome. So I guess we're... I guess we're on... Uh, on Yogwill now. Wow, that was terrible. I should have played Narsa, huh? Uh, we're getting collector roof next to fuck. I think we just lost. Okay, I think I just lost the game there. Wow. That's wild. Yeah, I lost this game. I threw this game. I should have just played Narset. Crazy. I did draw both my Tinker targets, but I shouldn't play this this Mana Crypt either, I guess. Pretty impressive. That top deck Mind Break Trap into Oof with Pyroblast back up here is game winning for sure. Yeah, I mean, this was about the worst something could have possibly have gone, but... I'm just going to lose to my own Mana Crypt as well. Yeah, I severely misplayed this. 
Because now they're going to go double oof. And I don't even have a <laughs> deluge or anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is really bad. So if I hit a land, I can demonic for... That's not happening. Um, I can demonic for... A dress down. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I kind of... Oh, wow. I definitely screwed up there. I drew the cut down, but they have double oof, and I don't have a fetch land right now. Wow. Uh, I think I was just supposed to go for Narset because it sees the same amount of cards and all I'm looking for is PO, right? So, or it seems one more card. I mean, I kind of expected to draw lands off of my Ancestral, but maybe that was uh, asking for too much. All right. I mean, if you're going to keep doing this, I will keep, I will keep doing this. The problem is I am on too big of a clock because of my Mana Crypt. Did win two in a row, though. These draws are just almost... I mean, my opponent can Pyroblast my Snapcaster, and then the clock is insane. I think it's so crazy we lose this game. Wow. But it's kind of on me, so... Because I'm looking for Pio, and Narset sees four cards deep. Okay. Maybe it's worse because they have Pyro. I don't know. So I'm on a Mana Crypt flip here. Even if I don't hit a Mana Crypt flip, I can't win unless I... Okay, so if my opponent has nothing, I win my Mana Crypt flip, I draw a Fetch Land, and then I can Demonic and Fatal Push, or Demonic Cut Down. Never mind. I no longer can do that if they minus one me. Okay. Well, I was never playing around Mind Break Trap there, so that doesn't really matter. I should probably lose this flip. I've lost. I haven't wanted. To... Okay. Um. I. I think that was unlucky, but I also threw it a little. Maybe. We're definitely gonna bring in the toxic deluge. Um. And I kind of will trim one opal, one top, and bring in the other fluster. Unfortunate. That was really, really unfortunate. I think I could have played it better, though. I, I I just have to draw a P.O. I just have to draw a land. <laughs> um, my Ancestral was just possibly the worst. Hmm. These matchups have been really rough. Uh, this hand's so good, though. So I think I'm going to wait on the Mentor and um, so I can play it with Flusterstorm back up. This way I don't play into Mind Break Trap or Force or anything. They do have a breed, I guess, in their deck, so we have to be cognizant of that. I guess they can collect roof me on turn one, but come on, stop looking at my hand. I don't want you to know what's in my hand. Uh, I mean, people have tried three tops for a long time. The third top is basically the next best one or zero drop artifact. There aren't very many good zero and one drop artifacts. You want to up your ability to metalcraft, so.
I think I was in an extremely winning position where I would win 95% of games. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, if my opponent is like, I, I, I can draw force. Like force flusterstorm. I can, I can draw PO. I can draw demonic. I can draw time walk. I can draw tinker. I can draw, I can draw like half of my deck was good. And I drew tinker target fluster fluster. <laughs> so. I do, I do think, I mean, I also, like, got Mind Break trapped off the top. Wow, that's a good draw. Holy crap. That might be the best draw in my deck. Looks really good here. What's going on? <laughs> I mean, Mentor is like extremely good against my opponent's deck, so I'm pretty excited for the spot we're currently in. We have a really nice, like, it's really hard for my opponent to play Magic through this hand, but they could definitely have Force plus... I don't know, their own Fluster, but I kind of, I win the Fluster War, I have more mana. Uh, to be fair, like, I do think that P.O. can be a really bad Ancestral deck. Uh, for, for like, how stupid that statement sounds. P.O. has a lot of dead draws in it. And so you have a lot of draws where you cast Ancestral and you go, Oh, I drew three, but I drew three bad ones. You also have, like, I drew three and I drew Tinker Force and they're dead. So... It's kind of a high variance. I don't know what opponent's up to. I definitely like the the place I cracked this fetch land. Doesn't give them an opportunity to cast like an ancestral of their own. If they like respond to this fetch by casting ancestral, I just respond by casting ancestral. And then if they counter my ancestral, I cluster storm the stack and like it's pretty rover. Um, I, I uh, it's just really good from every angle here. Probably tapping my mana vault to play this mentor. Let's make sure I get this Tundra, eh? Uh, Monastery Mentor. How do you how do you respond? Okay. Ancestral. Okay. Ancestral. Oh, you just let that happen. Uh, hmm. That's kind of interesting. All right, if you have a force for my mentor, it's fine. I think if you if I get your hit your ancestral and you take a blue card force and you go down to four cards, then I should be winning off of that. I guess if I get wasteland, it's kind of, it could be a little rough. My mentor just resolved anyways. Okay, that's good. I mean, they kind of need bolt wasteland, right? If they bolt wasteland, then then we're having then we have a game again. I guess I just played into Mind Break Trap, didn't I? Mentor Ancestral Fluster. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I went for the highest value possible play, and I may have been an idiot. Okay, sure, that's fine. This is an opportunity where oof should not matter too much, and I also have Dress Down follow-up. Moxin's a fine draw. Cut Down would be a good draw if I... I'd fetch something better. Um, I think I am just going to snap Ancestral here. They would have had to draw on a Counterspell off the top.
They drew a misstep off the top? Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Well, we continue. This game is kind of close for my opponent having their Ancestral countered and me resolving Ancestral Mentor. Do they just, like, Oko my Mentor? God, imagine how good that is right now. We just draw fetch land cut down though. Game's probably won. Oh, Snapcaster's awesome. I really enjoy Snapcaster and PO. Man, I, this game is like really close. They have a braid for mentor? Or is this just a, a, a Ragavan? Man. Kind of brutal. I don't have a lot of mana either. Or is a Renin 6? Okay. Is that going to kill my monk token, maybe? Hmm. Oh, kill my Snapcaster. Yeah, even better. Wow. Okay. Um. And a red? So Ragavan as well? Wow. Okay. I kind of want to just draw a fetch land cut down. I feel like we'll be in a good spot if that happens. Then we get to kill Ren in six. I drew another PO. So if I cast Dress Down, that would give me three mana. That's so bad. I can't really attack. They're going to kill another monk token. I mean, wow. Okay. Yeah. I guess I have to pass. Uh, oh, I could have just PO'd. You're right. I do have four mana. Uh, I should have just PO'd. It's too late now. I, it's not too late now. Mm, I'm going to just dress down, I think. I'm just going to dress down. I really was... I was going for end step dress down is where I really wanted to be. I guess end step dress down is like not very good with my mentor, though. Ah, that's not even good with my mentor, though. Maybe I can sneak a Ragavan with a dress down here. Ugh, I really hate this. Okay. That's a lot of creatures. All right. I guess we're going end step dress down. And then we just pick up the dress down. Yeah, but then we don't... Then we... It's a, it's a very awkward, because they have an active collector roof. The, the, the Nambo is usually not a big deal, and I don't think it will be a huge deal here. Again, like, a fetch land is the best draw. Uh... I think I'm just going to pick the dress down up. Okay, so now I think we're just easily winning. Yeah, see, like, dress down non-bow doesn't actually matter. I think my opponent might just be dead. Oh, thank God. I felt really sketched out about this whole game, so... My PO definitely drew me good cards in that one, yes, I agree.
Yeah, this game's over. Woo, boy. Oh, we're skate we're skating through these these bad matchups. This opponent at least played a bunch of collector roofs against us instead of like fluxes and things. Because I'm not playing white. I know there's a tundra and a mentor in play. It's a it's an illusion. All right, here we are, round five, vintage challenge. Continuing to, we have to win everything. We've unfortunately been paired against the deck eighty four, who is a breach player. So this will be the fourth pyroblast deck of the tournament. That's a good hand. Need to draw force, obviously, but I mean, I'm I'm, I'm always keeping this nonsense. I think. Wow, am I? It's a pretty bad hand besides Tinker. What kind of discipline do I have to have to mulligan this hand? <laughs> I'm a none, no, not a single other card in this hand does anything. If I had turn one Tinker, I think I would be more open to the idea of this hand. I don't think... It, am I going to mulligan a hand with Tinker? That's gotta be crazy, right? This hand just does nothing. It has all the clunkers. It has every single clunker. All right, I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna mulligan? It hurts so bad. I... Okay, well, this at least gives me a plan. So the question becomes, am I, am I holding? I think I am holding. I think I'm going to go play everything and then uh, next turn. No, oh, I'm not going to play everything. I'm going to play one thing. Wait, why am I playing one thing? It doesn't make any sense because now I'm not playing around Bind Mage Trap at all. I should either play nothing or everything, right? Oh, God, that's a good start too. Oh, no, my time twister is so bad now. Oh, my Lord. Uh, man, I have a plan, but it's not a good plan anymore. <laughs> Are they, do they have PO? Wow, my opponent's hand is much better than mine. That is unfortunate. I should have held this emerald. Okay, fair enough. We got vintaged. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have kept my original hand and just hoped Tinker worked. No, I even had force backup for my time twister. This was so bad for me. <laughs> it's crazy. That, I mean, we just got vintage, right? Their opponent's hand was much better than ours. Can't really be bad. It's just the, it's just the nature. Like, they drew Ancestral off of Narset. Oh, not like this. God, really? <laughs> uh, we were just dead before this game even was happened. How do we even win anymore? I guess like we could have top deck Tinker there. That was probably our out. Wow. Maybe they'll lose every flip and die. Draw five lands, lose every flip and die. Oh, never not. Maybe not. Tinker Mirror. We're so dead. <laughs> All right, so I guess this is just vamp for Twister and then we die. 
Yeah, I mean that's just vintage. We got we got vintage. Our opponent's hand was just uh, all gasoline, mono restricted cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, six restricted cards, and uh, I mean they played. Actually, they played only restricted cards this game besides force and lands. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, we take the L in game one. Opponent is probably playing Pyroblast Breach. Um, in this case, all I want to do is bring in... Mm. None of my cards are, like, super good here besides Opposition Agent. They play so many Pyroblasts in the main. This player has always played a million Pyroblasts. That's just kind of what they do. Uh, it doesn't look like they're on Hole Breachers, though. So... I'm just going to take out Mystical and Twister and Hercules and bring in Fluster and go like this. I could technically take out Island and play Twister on the play. Yeah, it's fine. No, no, no. I would play Soul Guide Lantern if I had a Soul Guide Lantern, but Crypt, Crypt is not good enough. What is happening? Why is my why is my deck doing this to me? Ah, all right, let's mulligan. It's just so bad. Yeah, unfortunately, my hands have just not been good enough to play the, this match. I kind of have to put this one back as well. Don't think it's just good enough. Okay, I mean, that's my best hand, but it's not good. I'm just going to put away Yogwill um, Force and just hope to hit... God, that doesn't even do anything. I mean, this hand doesn't do anything, so I guess I could put a Yogwill Time Walk. <laughs> I don't know. This at least can trips. I'm just gonna put away Yogwill Time Walk and try to get there with that. I, I'm aware Opal is off. I'm I'm very aware. But the other cards don't do anything if I don't hit double blue anyways. And I kind of need the Opal so I can have all my black hits. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. That's exactly what we're really looking for. So this is good, because what I'll do, I can draw an off-color Moxin, that's not an Opal, and I can have Pia with Fluster back up. Which is much, that's about all I can ask for. Come on, stop, stop looking at my hand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the deck 84 is a powerful wizard, so... This is kind of par for the course. Now my Flusterstorm is turned off. And we are very dead. Okay, but Mox, 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 it's not Opal. Nice, that's a good draw. And then we're definitely not POing on our turn, I can tell you that much. Yeah, their Lotus is like quite a bit better than my Lotus, unfortunately, so... I mean, they also know my hand, so that doesn't help either. Like, they have complete knowledge of the game because they had Gitaxian Probe. There's really not much I have going for me besides just throwing it down on their turn. I don't think it makes any sense to go on my turn. They could also have Hole Breacher, I guess, theoretically. Um, I still don't think I like POing yet. I don't think they have Hole Breacher in their deck. That's not really the style that the, the deck 84 likes to play. But... My Fluster gets better, but not not good enough. So what I want to do is make them utilize their spells on their turn and then untap. And like I need to want them to utilize their mana sources on their turn, and then we can uh, untap and hopefully draw like another action spell, right? 
That's the idea. If they flush, what? Is their hand just garbage? I mean, I think I just play into it, right? And just play everything and tinker. Do I play a land drop? I don't really know the math. Or like fluster negation or something. I guess if I were to get flustered, I can currently pay. I can't pay without land. Okay, I'm gonna play land and I'm gonna tinker and hope it works. Maybe I'm supposed to tinker the Black Lotus and not the Mana Crypt. What? They must have Hercules? Okay, I mean... I don't really want a twist. Uh, oh boy oh boy this has been a game do they have Hercules or a braid now i don't think it's correct though oh now they have a braid i have po to pick up in response Maybe I shouldn't have done it. I don't know. It's possible that was a misplay on my part. Wow, we bricked twice. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, my Citadel is dead. I still have, like, Snap Twister with Narset, though. Okay. Do we win off Snap Twister with Narset? One, two. Uh, I'm one mana short of Snap Twister. Oh, why? Maybe I can hit it off of. Maybe I can hit it off of Narsa. I didn't hit it off of Narsa. I did hit Pio. I'm aware they have an R set. I wanted to snap twister this turn, but it doesn't look like that's happening. I kind of think I'm just supposed to... PO instead of like wait and do stuff. Kind of like my open window here. Like maybe I don't pick up my own uh, NAR set, but... Is Force of Will good? It might be good enough. Maybe. The problem is I have to... No, the Force of Will is not good enough because I have to pitch my Snapcaster. I'm just going to PO and draw three, four. Oh. I guess I can blind draw with top for a blue card. The PO is only for three, and I don't have replay ability at all. I don't have enough mana to play another PO. Take a force.
That was really risky. Maybe I should have flustered my own time twister. Maybe I should have flustered my own time twister. Did I did I have a blue mana floating? I did, right? Yeah, maybe I was supposed to fluster my own time twister. Cause I have to uh force this Narset. So I have to blind draw with top for a blue card. And if I miss, then I have to use my snap. I just draw third top. Okay. I mean, like, the good news is I still have a Narset. And they don't have a force. So, I mean, we're probably still winning. Vamp? That's got to be lethal. Maybe it's not lethal. What is it like? Do I just get Yogg? I'm only at nine life, seven life, so I would have to twist. Is that even good? I think Ventor is horrible here. My opponent's going to get Black Lotus and have access to Underworld Breach. It's a terrible idea. I could just get Opposition Agent and steal their Saga. I'm just gonna go Yogg. Alright, the question becomes... What are we doing? I can vamp again. I don't have tendrils. I don't really want a twister with all this power in my yard, though. I don't know the top card. No, I do know the top card is a top. What if I vamp for Mentor and then Twist? Or what if I vamp for... Yeah, we should vamp for something and then Probe and then... Well, fuck. What about time walk? Uh, vamp, mentor, probe. Oh, do I have enough mana? Yeah. I don't think I want to play my land. In case I draw Academy. Maybe I want to play my land and play top. I hate this play, chat. I think this play is so bad. I really think I should have gone for some kind of PO line. My opponent does draw a card here. I feel like this was a mistake. I feel like this was a huge mistake. I mean, this is lethal. Are they making a construct? That's so good for me. 
Yeah, I think we win here, but I really... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played top. I just felt like, what if I drew all blanks? I don't know. I don't think it matters. I think this is fine. I, I just, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure that was, like, the most likely... Line. I mean, like, the thing is, we can get unlucky off Twister and still be good because we have top, right? So it doesn't actually matter if we're good against off top or not, or good off twister or not. That's like kind of what I was trying to compensate for. I don't know. I'm like not used to twister lines, so it's gotten me a little uh, on edge. I can probably pick up this here. Oh, just in case they drew ancestral, I guess. Okay, um, I don't know about that line. I'm not really thrilled. I'm going to board out Twister on the draw, though. I, I don't have a lot of experience with Twister. I have typically not played it in PO. But I felt like it was a good way to have an additional win con with Narset. And it has done good things. I'm just going to put the Mystical back in and not play Twister in game three on the draw. Well, yeah, for sure. Huh. You should not play Tormod's Crypt against Breach. I think that would be a huge mistake. Unfortunately, I have to mulligan this hand. Doesn't function. If I knew for a fact that I had an island on top of my deck, I would snap off this hand, I think. Maybe I wouldn't even snap off this hand. It would have to be two islands. But I, I just don't think you can keep this. <laughs> How is this hand somehow worse? Like, this is probably closer... Because it technically does... It's just not good enough. My hands have been abysmal in these last couple games. This is great hand, though. This hand is fantastic. This hand is unbelievably good. How do I bottom two cards here? I have to bottom Mystical, and I have to bottom Misstep, and just play off of Ancestral Fluster. Or do I bottom Ancestral Misstep, and play off of Mystical? Nah, I probably just bottom... Mystical misstep and go off of Ancestral Fluster. So now I need to find a good window to cast Ancestral Recall. Maybe I'm not supposed to play this Emerald into a possible trap. I guess I won't play this Emerald into a possible trap. I don't think I'm allowed to cast Ancestral till I find a reasonable window, though. Like if they cast Tinker here or something, I don't know. This game is hard to win still. It's, I mean, like, this is a good five card hand on the draw. I can't be mad about mulliganing into this hand. We definitely don't want to mulligan, but if I had to mulligan, this is definitely a hand I would be willing to try. <laughs> I 
What a close match. It's a tough matchup. Uh, yeah, I don't play Breach very well. I also like, don't really want to play Saga. Like, I do like Breach, Saga in Breach, but I just don't really want to play it. Like, so I haven't really liked piloting Breach, and then in the in the in the in the actual matchup, PO versus Breach, they're just a Pyroblast deck, so they have a lot of things going on. Okay, so this should work out for me theoretically. I hope. The best outcome here is they have Pyro or Fluster and no follow-up spell. And then I hit everything with Flusterstorm. Okay. So I'm going to put Flusterstorm with two copies on Force, two copies on Sp Shattering Spree on Sapphire, and yeah. I mean, if they have of their own fluster after all this, then obviously I lose. But, um, I mean, we have to do what we have to do here. So they can have, um, a pyro and it's still pretty good for them, but they have fluster after all this. I mean, you got me. Their hand was Ruby. Volcanic, Volcanic, Shattering Spree, Force of Will, Fluster, Blue Card, Unknown. Like, that, you got me. <sighs> okay. I mean, I went for the highest value play. And I got punished for it. But I don't know if we were going to be able to beat Force plus Fluster anyways. So, I guess we could have untapped and beat Force Fluster by having a million extra mana. So maybe I got greedy, but we wouldn't have a million extra mana because we would have lost both of our things to Shattering Spree. So maybe I shouldn't have played Opal, so I don't lose my Opal. I at least didn't play the Emerald, but maybe if I had played Emerald, I could pay for one of these Fluster Storms, and everything would have been better. So I actually think maybe I messed up in not playing it. I could have paid for two Fluster Storms if I had played Emerald, so maybe I lost the game because I didn't play Emerald. Wow. Okay. I mean, the good news is we have three tops in our deck, so that can help. If, as long as they don't like follow this up with an Ancestral or a Tinker, which they have done before to me. <laughs> um, P.O. Okay. I guess I, I punted this game by not playing Emerald out, and I should have played Emerald out, which would have let me play around Flusterstorm better. So it's, a, my, it's my mistake. My mistake. I misplayed. I wanted to play around Trap. But uh, I instead played into Shattering Spree, Flusterstorm Force. Yeah, 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 I mean, the game is on, but like, we'll have to see what happens. I think I'm going to go upkeep PO. Okay, I drew a bunch of lands, but that's fine. We drew cards, so. Maybe I should fetch. Uh, maybe I should have fetched. No, I think it's like reasonable. Like I, I got, I think I got mind controlled by um the mind break, tra the previous mind break trap. Like I got kind of scarred from that previous mind break trap when I should have been playing around um flusterstorm. It was a mistake. It was just not a good play. I, I made a really really large error, and this game would have been probably have been one. Like if I if I had a two extra mana there, their flusterstorm is really hard to work through, and I would have definitely either resolved ancestral or saved something. Maybe not resolved ancestral. Maybe they would have just put everything on ancestral, and it wouldn't have resolved. But um, I think I was just made a huge mistake.
I don't know where we're going to go from here, unfortunately. We just have to hope our top decks work out. I mean, my opponent has Demonic, which is almost the entirety of Breach combo. So I think we're probably dead. Yep, Black Lotus Breach. No Breach yet. Wait, what are they Demonic for then? Did they Demonic for Lotus? Because they have Force, maybe? Where are my three tops? Come on! Give me something to work with here. I'm pretty sure we're going to die, right? Like, how can they Demonic and not kill us? Maybe they Demonic for Lotus and have Hardcast Force. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm really sad, though. It's my own fault. It was a pretty poor mistake. Mm, the PO draw was reasonable, but these draws have not been reasonable. Too many lands, too many Moxen. We need power. Not power, like, we need uh, action. They know two cards in our hand as well. I threw it. This format's really hard. You, you get rewarded for playing well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, you got me. I mean, we have Demonic Tutor in our deck that we could top deck as well, but we didn't. So where does that leave us? Where does that leave us? Do we get another turn? <laughs> oh, now we lost a lot of our top decks that are good. I don't think it matters. No. They found Brain Freeze. I mean, they have lethal with any breach. Any breach is lethal. I mean, any breach was already lethal because they had Demonic in their yard. One card combo. Uh, we don't want to top deck Citadel because we don't have another Underground Sea in our deck. Oh, they just have Breach. Why are we... Why are we... Why? Why are we slow rolling? Just... You've had me dead. This entire time. Alright. We got Got. I played badly, though. Oh, they were trying to find a blue card for Force, maybe? Oh. Oh, we were not winning. We have three tops in our deck to help play through these kind of situations, and we just drew all um, all lands. Imagine if we had an opposition agent in response to Demonic Tutor. That would have been game winning. Yeah, unfortunately, like we were not able to recover from the misplay this time, and our top deck was not kind to us. It happens. Okay, here we are now, round six of eight. Uh, we're up against Green Line in the. Um, in leagues, they've been playing like Bant, Standstill, Replenish. So we'll have to see if they're doing that still. This hand's good. I mean, this hand's not good, actually. This hand's fine. It has some problems for sure. But I'm not going to mulligan an Ancestral Hand that has like something following it up. We have the ability to top into action. It's playable. Not going to be saying I'm thrilled about this hand by any means. All right, well, those are good cards. Those are kind of exactly, almost exactly what we're looking for. We wanted a force, but Mox Mox and, uh, and hitting Sapphire, are, those are good. All right, Tundra. They might be on their standstill thing. I'm looking at, like, probably Narset top this turn. Play around days. Oh. Oh, my. I mean, I get Mind Break trapped, but... Ancestral, sure, fair. Resolves? Fluster probe. Oh, I 
guess we take Buster. Do we go merchant for something? No, probably not. We probably just go top. Yeah, I think standstill doesn't matter though because we have a Narset in play, right? We can just activate it. The card I'm like more worried about is, well, Saga means maybe they're just on Esper Tinker. This is fine. You can get Merchant Scroll for Force, but I have Fluster, so you're going to lose this battle without mana. I kind of want to probe to see what's in their hand, to be honest, but... Discard to hand size, huh? See what they do. Discarded Sylvan Library. Okay, so I think they're on their Bant um, Brew. Just want more Mox in here. I think we're just super far ahead. Our Ancestral Resolving was really good for us, and we kind of hit the best possibles, so. Um, we could take Citadel. Okay. They could have double force, I guess. Maybe I should have played around double force. But they merchant for force. Okay, they have double force. They pitched Colossal Sky Turtle, by the way. Uh, Yeah, okay. So we are playing against this um, Replenish pile. They did have double force, but we have like great follow-ups. So maybe I went too greedy and I could have gone like merchant for another fluster or something. I guess if they have another counter spell here, we could be in trouble. I guess I should go time walk first and buy us some reprieve. What's the most likely card to get my PO to resolve here? Is it a fluster of my own? I guess I can play top. Maybe just more PO. Maybe it's a force and spin for a blue card. I think I like that the most. I didn't hit a blue card. Um, okay. That is definitely the worst possible outcome. I just don't activate my top and so I can spin and try to find one. I think I'm just supposed to pick up this Narsa as well. Negation. All right. I guess this would have been stopped by a fluster storm. I missed again. Okay. I threw the game, I guess. I mean, I knew two of the three cards, but I felt like it was a pretty high chance of a. Nah, probably not. It probably is a low chance. It's probably just bad. Uh, I guess I threw this game by not getting Flusterstorm. Hmm. Okay. I made a mistake. Should have, or I could have just gotten second PO. So if they just go like make a construct, get a Black Lotus replenish, what does that do? Oh god, what if they needle my my tops? I guess that's just losing. Damn it. Uh yeah, I think we lost this game. Cause I merchant for the wrong card. Because I expected after merchant I'd be able to spin for a blue card, and there was no blue cards in my top four. 
Hmm. Interesting problem. Okay, well, I have to fight through three dead draws, and then we see where we're at after that. My opponent has cast three forces this game. I can't imagine anything other than, like, a standstill is coming, right? Um, yeah. This is really, really bad. I just needed to go play around... What was I playing around with Force? I was playing around Force. When I should have been... Well, they could have had a blue card to pitch, right? So Fluster might not have been good enough. That's what I was kind of thinking, is if they had Force, I couldn't pay for it. What is this going to be? Can't let that happen. They have Veil? No. Okay. Uh, Light from the Loam. They just loamed back a Saga and then had a second Saga? Oh, all right. I guess we're going to lose. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, we, how many how many more draws do we have to get through? We have to get through third top to be turned off. Uh, we have to get through one more underground sea draw, and then we have a, a new card. So we have to take a hit from two huge saga, three huge saga tokens, and then top deck a, a winning card. Uh, okay, I guess we have one more. We have what? One more, one more draw. Because my opponent is going to hit me for 3, and then 8, and then I could die because of Crypt, possibly. No, I won my Crypt flip. Okay, I probably shouldn't have played that. Um, Okay, so I have one top deck here. Theoretically. Because I'm going to take 10 and go to 6 and maybe go to 3. I mean, Pio and Yogwill and Demonic and... All of those things look good. There's a lot of top decks. I'm at three, and survey says Tinker. That doesn't do anything, right? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I had nothing. Okay, cool. Well, that's a sad game to lose. I'm not 100% sure if I had Merchant Scroll for Fluster, was that going to be good enough? But it definitely seems like I made a mistake there. Um, man, uh, that's a weird game to lose for sure. Let's go Op Agent and... Um, take out Hercules and take out one top, I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to go more fluster. Could see that. Hmm. I'm losing to Bant Replenish. That's not how I wanted my tournament to go. <laughs> it's cool, such a cool deck, though. Have to admit. Uh, this hand has no fast mana and three three drops. It's just not good enough. Okay, I mean, hand does the thing. We're going to go for Tinker with Force Backup and hope it works. Rona Bounce? I don't know. Ah, uh, man. I don't know. I feel like I threw a, definitely a one game in game one, though. Oh, God. If they have a fluster, we just lose. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't really... Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, that spell's not terrible. But I don't know if it's what you want to be doing. Maybe it's fine. Instant. 
Hmm. It's an idea for sure. I, I think I'm just supposed to jam into Tinker here or into Fluster, right? Like what what is my alternative? I don't have an alternative, right? There's no there's no I can I can go for uh ancestral. Oh wait, I can pay, right? Okay, so I just can't beat Fluster Force. Okay. Yeah, we have one pay and one force, so. Okay. I have a tanker. You have a fluster. Pay. Force. I'll flip the flip my tournament on its head. Yep, they have force backup. Okay. I mean I lose. Oh boy. I don't know. I just think I'm supposed to win game one is what I think I'm supposed to do. <laughs> All right. Well, how is the top of my PO deck going to treat me today? That's the new question. Gotta probably hold that for Saga tokens. Don't think I'm allowed to cantrip off of it. They haven't hit any land drops, which means their hand is all counter spells, I assume. But we don't really have a way to capitalize. Or they hit standstill. Not like this. I think I just cycle. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually good. Oh, all right. My arch nemesis stands still. Ready? Top deck saga? No, wasteland. Okay. So they do have wastelands and sagas and loam. It's a lot of things. Um, gonna hold that, I guess. Probably play it towards the end. Oh, they top deck Saga. All right. Kind of need to find an instant so I can crack this standstill on their end step, like a opposition agent or something. Because I don't know if I don't really feel like cracking it on my turn is going to be the the way we win this game. Uh, but we are running out of time, are we? Opposition agent's my draw that I'm looking for. Po. All right. Well. I think we just go. I, I think we just go and hope it works out. I don't think we have like a lot of counterplay anymore. Don't think it like gets better for us. I probably shouldn't have tapped my Saga. Uh, I shouldn't have tapped my Sensei's top. I should have um, spent, hold it open to spin and draw. It was pretty poor play. All right, well, I can pay for that. That's why I tapped the way I did. Basically, um, if I don't tap my uh, Academy, then I uh, they can Wasteland before I play my, my cards back out. And if I don't play my Academy, I can't beat Fluster, so... They just don't have a force? Oh my. Okay. I can't believe that just happened.
Uh, 13 life with a top. They can have vigor, but I can just play this opal. This is a hell of a game. Don't think I want to use two life on that. All right, well, I have a play for sure now. Uh, I still die to a Saga token if I'm not careful, though. So maybe I should do something else. Maybe just Demonic for Time Walk. Do I have a Time Walk left? I do. Oh, I hit the time walk. Okay. Okay, so I think we win this game. Oh, kind of a wild one. Where's my Yogwill? And just go for Tinker Lethal or Yogwill Lethal here. I guess I can just PO again as well. Or I have Demonic. Is Demonic enough? I don't think I have enough creatures in play. Oh, I can just Demonic for um, Mentor. Already time. I have time walk already on this on inside, right? So I should have probed first so that I could see what actually is in their hand because now they're going to concede. Oh, they're going to Colossal Sky Turtle, my mentor, back to my hand. Yeah, whatever, sure. Yeah, sure. What are we playing to, friend? Oh my god, they have Collector Roof. Co they should have conceded? Oh my god, they should have conceded? Seriously? I would have never known. I would I would have had no idea. I I can't believe that. Wow. That's that's crazy.
Oh, my opponent has Collector Oof and Archon of Amiria in their Bant Standstill deck, huh? They also have Wasteland Saga of Basic Island in their Bant Standstill deck. Ah, uh, this is this is something. It's also like the Colossal Turtle Replenish deck, too. It's crazy. Okay, well, that changes everything. Um, I'm going to be bringing in Cut Down, Cut Down, Toxic Deluge. Um, wow, I can't believe they didn't concede. They should definitely have conceded. I'm going to take out Opposition Agent. I don't think it's there's enough sagas probably uh there's no way in hell they have any ops to win there right it's pretty deterministic at that point i have no idea how they have room for everything they, they don't have any 5-0 lists so i can't tell you um i know that i can't bring in sphinx because they have a uh, bounce thing um I don't want to bring in all these fluster storms now, though, because they have so many. I mean, and maybe I need to to protect my. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. Should I really be twistering against this deck? Like, if they have all those dead cards, yes. But if they hit all their blue cards, no. This makes things so complicated. I don't know what I'm. What am I gonna do? We saw two Collector Roofs and Archon of Emeria. We saw multiple standstills. We saw Life from the Loam. We saw Wasteland Saga. We saw Replenish. We saw Sylvan Library. We saw Colossal Sky Turtle. We saw Forces, Force of Negations. Turtle is green. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, and then maybe we should bring in Sphinx. That's true. It is green. That is true. I'm going to take off this Time Twister. I think I'm just too scared. Fair. Fair, 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 fair. I'm going to go with this, I guess. Though Opposition Agent is good against Standstill. So maybe I should still play Opposition Agent in case they play Standstill. I kind of think they have Swords and Besaju too, but I don't know. I haven't seen them and I can't... How do you fit them? You have to have Besaju if you're playing Loam, right? Uh, I don't think it's bad. Like, you have Narset still. It's just another way to win, um, which has been, it's been pretty good all day. It's been pretty good all day. Maybe I play don't play Deluge because I'm playing a bunch of creatures. Maybe I'll just play some Cutdowns. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this. I have two... Why, though? Why, though? Why, 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 why? This is so close. This is... Why? Why? If I had the uh, the Sphinx in my deck, I could have gone uh, probe into Tinker Sphinx with Fluster backup. <laughs> I don't know if I would have done that, but I could have done that. Maybe we just keep and hope we draw two mana sources. Well, then we can't fluster, though. So it doesn't really do anything. I, I cut the Sphinx. Because I think they play Besaju and maybe Swords, but maybe they don't. I didn't bring the Sphinx in. If I had the Sphinx, I would maybe have probably kept this hand. But I don't know if I can. I'm not going to. Like, if, What if they play Collector Roof on turn one? I'm going to mulligan. Okay, I'm going to keep. I'm going... Whoa. Mm -hmm. What am I mulligan? Oh. Maybe I can discard a land? And I have two draw steps? Uh, maybe that's... that's Maybe that's, maybe that's stupid. Maybe I should have both the bring this. What is that? Oh my god, it's a Spara's headquarters. 
Uh, time walk lets me find well a land. <laughs> well, the, the thing with time walk is if I have a land, I can play the opposition agent or the merchant scroll before people do anything. I guess if I miss the land drop here, I look really silly. Okay, so am I supposed to play opposition agent right now, or am I supposed to merchant for for ancestral? But that runs into negation. I kind of think I'm supposed to just slam an agent right now. Well, is there any downside to holding an agent, though? I guess if they have force plus fluster, but I don't care about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait, I guess. Every time I've ever waited with opposition agent to get value, I've, it's always ended poorly. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Special land, maybe? Nope, Saga. Okay. Well, they could have played a standstill, right? And I would have flashed in an opposition agent. That would have been pretty good. All right. I'm definitely casting it now, though. I'm going to make them have force. I guess they can have the bounce thing. Whatever. I think it made sense to wait on opposition agent for fetch land and for standstill. So I think it was fine. I'm not sure I'm supposed to have misstep in my deck. They had force, pitching force. Okay. Um, that's a good draw. This doesn't let me... I guess I technically can resolve a merchant scroll. I then just go for ancestral and ancestral in their upkeep. If they fluster, I beat it. What the frick? Okay, I mean, I have a dress down for Saga tokens now. But if they play a standstill, we're currently losing on board, right? But they didn't play a standstill. Okay, so hopefully I can get them to invest mana into Saga tokens. It's like, uh, it's a grift. It's like if my opponent invests mana into crypto. And then, no, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I lost money. <laughs> no, um... Saga is basically a scam like crypto. Wow, that's a new headline right there, Slasher. Saga is basically... <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, let's play Magic. Let's play Magic. This is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, what if I have another Opposition Agent? Oh, it'd be so good. If I had an Opposition Agent here, I would take their Misty Rainforest and their Saga. I love dress downing saga tokens. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. Uh, yeah. I guess I should fetch because they have a needle, right? Hopefully they don't have assassin's trophy in this deck somehow. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Make more tokens, baby. No. Sad Justin. How could you not make another token? I'm super sad now. What the fuck is that? When you discard a card, you may exile a card from your graveyard, and then you can put a card exiled from your grave. What? And they hit standstill? No, 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 no. Everything is going badly. They can make stands tokens through standstill. I should have done this in response. Oh, I did it in response. Okay, I guess I'm going to PO this all back to my hand and just uh, jam on the next turn here. Unless I have a force. In which case, I'm still jamming. Oh, I guess I get flustered now. Hmm. Are you going to loot? I have no idea how they fit all these cards into the deck. It's crazy to me. Uh Okay, I mean I have a really nice follow up, right? There are so there are also shark typhoons in this deck. I know there are shark typhoons in this deck. <laughs> I know cuz they've done it to me. 
All right, I'm going to cycle this dress down. I just don't really want the standstill resolving if I can help it. Okay, well, we're going to let the standstill resolve and go for our... Uh, yeah, it, it, it is the Bosch deck um, from what I know. All right, so we're going to let them draw three off their standstill. And then I sure hope we win after that. I don't know. What's the best line, though? Is it like Tinker Yogg? Do we have enough mana? I don't know. It's so bad. I don't think waiting is good for us. Um, I think we just tinker and then... And then Yogg. And then try to tinker again. If we get negated, it's pretty bad. Oh, I guess I probably should not have played and cracked my fetch land if I wanted to tinker for a citadel, but whatever. <laughs> that just resolves? Do they have a uh they have a oh they have a the the, the thing that bounces? They have the thing that bounces, right? Yeah. Oh, they have a Besage you. Okay. <laughs> Do I have any lands left to find yet? Okay. So, I'm glad we didn't go for the Sphinx plan. I have a land. Alright, I mean, if they have no counterspell, then I think we win. If they have a counterspell, I'm sad and we probably are not happy. Should I just PO instead? Just to play around a counter spell. They have to have one of their two remaining forces or a negation. No, I don't care. Play Yog. Negation pitching Sky Turtle. They can't fluster. Oh, I guess they can fluster. No! Oh my god. Okay. Um, I guess we're losing this game. We don't have access. I guess we still have Mentor in our deck. Our whole graveyard is piled with great stuff. Okay. Uh, I got got. So now they have three cards and a currency converter. Okay. This card's sick. Why have I never played with this card before? If they have like another standstill, it's bad. If they have an oof, I have it covered. If they have an archon, I have it covered. If they have... Oh, not a Narset. Uh, that is the end of the world. I do hate Saga. True statement. All right, that was the worst possible card they could have. I have everything else covered besides Narset, but I don't have Narset covered, so now I'm in deep shit. Um, wow. I guess we are going to lose this game. Hmm. Narset is the worst thing that could have happened to me. I kind of have to find my mentor or I don't have a chance. I should probably just fetch here and... Shuffle? Even though I have nothing left. I was going to brainstorm my underground sea back, but I can't do that anymore. Okay. All right. That attacks. That attacks. These are good. These are good cards. I can actually opposition agent when they go to Merchant Scroll. Okay. Wait. Oh, I should have played my underground sea. <sighs> Trying to play like a little fast, but it's not going very well. I don't know, man. 3-2 bracket. They drew mental mist. Okay. Okay. Wait, they didn't merchant scroll. <laughs> they, they drew, they, come on, man. They didn't have to merchant scroll for the ancestral because they just drew it. 
This is ridiculous. No! Their last card was Force. How? How has it gone so wrong? And then they played a standstill. They just played none of the bad cards and all of the good blue cards. It's a cool deck. What is this? What is this? What is this? How does this fit in your deck? Slasher, they cast Ancestral Misstep Probes Force Force Force. They passed three forces at this game. They didn't draw any of the 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 like I just they drew one Colossus. And they pitched the Force of Will. The Force of Will. Alright. Well, this is the end, chat. This is the end. Um I'm going to cut down your shark. How does that make you feel? I'm going to PO for one. Cool. All right. Well, oh, I guess this just triggers their currency converter. God bless. Well, how many forces are left in their deck? One, two. There's one force left in their deck. Maybe we can just resolve dem demonic. Oh, I'm going to lose though. Can I, like, resolve Demonic Mentor and win? Force? Why can't I draw Force? Do I have any Forces? I've drawn zero Forces? Uh, alright, well, I'm just doing it. Demonic. Didn't they have, like, three Collector Roofs and two Archons or something? Oh, they have a counter spell. Brainstorm. I'm so confused, man. I don't know what's happening anymore. They drew the fourth Force of Will! In, there's 30 cards left in their deck. They drew all four Force of Wills. <laughs> I hope I have a Mentor on top. Cut down. That's not good enough. I'm so I'm in such pain. I think if we had one force of will in this game, we win, right? Okay, everything went really badly. I'm sure there's a way I could have played this game better. I'm sure it's my fault somehow. not really clever it's kind of a bunch of nonsense and it just happened that it worked here <laughs> i hate this game so much <laughs> like it's a bunch of nonsense this isn't it come on my opponent is about to put in urza saga standstill shark typhoon and colossal None of this works if they don't have four, five forces. They had five forces. Oh. 
I know I have force on top chat. It's not relevant. If I force this turn, I have no chance of beating the two the two, two rogue tokens. I'm I'm dead on board if I force. Because then I have to draw my top, and I can't draw my top again on the next turn because I have a Narsa in play, and so I have no more outs if I draw my force. <sighs> Fucking ah, okay. We got got. All right. Unfortunately, we've been vanquished by the superior deck building skills, and we're gonna go to round seven now. Let's play. Yeah, that's a good hand. Definitely would have liked more of these kind of hands earlier in the tournament. I don't really feel like I've hit the matchups I wanted to hit today, which is unfortunate. We've hit zero bizarre, uh, which is probably one of PO's stronger matchups. Man, am I just supposed to jam this Tinker even though I don't have Fluster back up? Not sure. The problem with jamming Tinker is if I fail, I don't even have any follow-up, so I don't think so. I was kind of hoping for a Mox, maybe. Kind of, maybe not great. Maybe I am supposed to jam Tinker. Oh, there's a Bazaar. We found them. Uh, let's see what kind of Bazaar they're playing with today. Are we on Squee? Squee is not a good matchup for this PO deck. Uh, or any PO deck, probably. Hogak, I like the matchup. It's pretty close. And then Dredge, I think you're very favored. Uh, it's Hogak, so this will be a close one. Uh, I'm definitely... I probably am supposed to keep Fluster for Vigor. That way, if I draw a Mox or a land, I can play Tinker Citadel. And I mean, I'm going to have to get lucky. Like, I'm going to have to get lucky and, and oh god, they're going to bring back the Vengevine this turn. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to get very lucky to win this game. They're going to have to have either I Tinker for a Citadel with no land drop and they don't have Vigor, or um, I just get really lucky off of my Citadel. I mean, I have three Sensei's Tops in my deck, so theoretically that's playable. That's a great draw. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I don't have to crack this. Okay, I have a Citadel with a land drop to give. Immediately hit a land drop. Hit a Hercules. I guess that bounces the hollow ones. Hit a Force. That's a dead draw here. Probably have to. Sh I can force down to eight and then Lotus my fluster or fluster my force. I'm just going to fetch and hope I don't die, I think. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a dumb idea, but. Okay, yeah, whatever. I have 13 lands in my deck. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, so I probably get another turn from 8 life, right? Realistically. And I still could win off of that. Just like a couple mocks in a row and cast P.O. I really wanted to hit one of the three tops. That would have been the ideal. I can't be up super upset about the Hercules because just buying me a turn is probably a possibility to win. So I take that. My opponent is double queuing, so they probably went away. What is this going to give you? Uh, sure, don't care about this. The only card I care about is Besage you. Vigor, it milled a Vigor. So they could have drawn a Vigor off their Bazaar if they hadn't cast Supplier. Um, so like they, they can get a Hogag going here, but that doesn't really matter at this point. There's only one more turn left in the game. I had the Vigor covered, so it didn't really matter, but they don't know that. 
I think it's more unlucky on them. Like, I think it makes sense to play a supplier first in case you hit, I don't know, Vengevine and uh, Bloodgast. Are you going to play a Hogak? That would be a huge misplay. You need to hit me for four here to make my Citadel worse. That's a really, really big misplay. Now I have a much higher chance of winning the game. Okay, so I can play a Snapcaster Mage and target Time Walk. I think it's better than targeting Tinker at 10. Because I can Tinker for a top, but I don't think that's what I want to be doing. I really want to be getting Moxin and casting PO. Maybe that was wrong. I mean, I also have three tops. Like, I shouldn't have to tinker for a top. That's unfortunate. Um, don't really want a mystical for Yogg yet. Let's ponder. I don't know if that's right. This lets me draw the Tundra. Play this pearl. Play this dress down. Vamp. I guess I can vamp for a mentor. Play a mentor. Yeah, that should be good enough. Vamp for a mentor. Play a mentor. Go to one. I guess I could just brainstorm into it and play it. I can just go to one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll just play a mentor and then, uh, then we peel everything back and we win. Okay, cool. Got there. Yeah, they were 100% supposed to attack with Vengevine. There's a reason I said it was a huge misplay. It's because it's a huge misplay. <laughs> yeah, we're deterministically lethal from here as long as I don't cast anything off the top like an idiot. Oh boy. I mean they're they're double queued, right? So Okay, they can see to the time walk. All right. We got to sneak a little game there versus Hogak where our Citadel bricked, but they made a slight mistake. We'll bring in Tormod's Crypts and Sphinx and uh, Tabernacle and Cut Down and Deluge. Not 100% sold on Deluge in this matchup because it is... Um, your life is a resource in this matchup for sure. So it's a little it's a little not great to play Deluge. But... Um, it does feel like a Twister matchup though. I think I just want to like... I like having a Fluster Storm, but not like a ton of Fluster Storms. Doesn't really feel like a Snapcaster matchup. Oh, well, Snapcaster blocks oof. It kind of depends on like how much I stop them from doing their game plan. Really, really depends. I don't really like Narset typically. Um, doesn't really feel like a pro bangle. Maybe, so maybe something like this. I don't really know that this is like 100% the correct way to board, but I think it's fine. Not 100% sure I should even be bringing in this Deluge. It kind of depends on how big they are into the oof sideboard plan. I haven't done some... Some, uh, some strong... Um, what is this? That's just not enough Moxon to be good. 
I've done some like pretty strong plays today, but I've also just done some like pretty abysmal ones. So this is not a functioning hand. I'm gonna mulligan again. All right, I'm just gonna keep this and get rid of some of the clunkers and hope it works out. There's like a very high chance this hand does not work out, but I think it's better than going to four. We have like the upside of Tinker. We are decent against the slow draw. Um, They went to five as well. Or sorry, they went to six. So like if this is a collector roof, we actually have a nice hand against it, which they do. It looks like it might be. Nice. So collector roof can be an upside for us. I'm definitely not going to crack this now. I'll definitely take the two damage. Um, I don't want to give them... Oh, they have a bazaar as well. I don't want to give them... Um, a, 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 now I won't take the two damage. Well, I don't want to give them a black source. So I was going to say not play around Wasteland, but... Double Rootwalla. So I don't really have a Mystical Tutor I can do either. Yeah, I'm just going to take the oof hit and then go to end step, cut down the oof. I guess I could end step mystical and mystical into uh, um, ancestral. They could have pyro though. I think I'd like them to get rid of their hand more first. Maybe that's incorrect. My skill for Ancestral certainly lets me have better... Well, it doesn't really have, let me have better oof lines. That's not really true. That's kind of an interesting one here. I think I would rather play around Pyro and just cut down the oof. Maybe I'm going to be unhappy if I brainstorm... Like there's certainly something to be said about brainstorm. Well, if I brainstorm and I and I lock myself, I'm just locked, locked. I don't have a really counterplay, right? So I don't know. I hope we draw um, mana crypt. <laughs> I guess then we can get pyroblasted, right? Maybe that's not a good idea. What do I want? Maybe I just want to draw fetch land. Tutor is a shuffle, but I can't shuffle until my next upkeep, and then I'm also going to draw a spell. I guess I could tutor and find nothing. But theoretically, if I brainstorm lock myself and find no mana, and then I use my mystical tutor on the next turn to shuffle, it's really not really not what we're trying to do. So it's like pseudo-locking yourself. They only have two cards left, right? The things we're the most worried about are maybe a Hogak, uh, maybe a Pyroblast, maybe a second oof, maybe a Force of Vigor plus green card. It's a lot of things that can happen here, for sure. Um, all right, we drew Fetchland, which I think is the best draw for us. I don't... I'm okay with them Pyroblasting my Brainstorm here. It means they have one less card... Am I okay with them pyroblasting my brainstorm? What is the upside? The upside is I can tinker this turn. I guess they could have besage you too. If they go to the next turn, they go up to three, they go up to five, they go down to two. Okay, I'm gonna brainstorm now. Tabernacle. I guess I shouldn't have played my fetch land. Uh, Tabernacle doesn't do anything actually. Uh, neither of this stuff does very much. I think this is, phew, man, is this a deluge game at all? I want this opal so I can tinker off of it. So I think I'm going to put back deluge tab. Uh, I still might end up mysticaling for ancestral though. Kind of depends on what happens. Maybe I'm supposed to keep Deluge in case they have second Collector Oof. I guess I have Force for that, right? And then I'm just on top deck land for Tinker. Top deck Mox for Tinker. Maybe I don't even care about Collector Oof. 
feel like this is one of those games, though, where I'm going to get a Sphinx in play, and then I'm going to get besieged. <laughs> Okay, here's the Bizarre activation. Five down to two again, and we'll see if they play anything, and that will help us play around everything. The more cards they throw in their yard and the more cards they use... Okay, they hit Hogak, Hogak. So I can force this Hogak as a big tempo win, or I can... I wish I had kept my Deluge. No. I don't know. Would I rather have Opal for Tinker or Deluge? So I think I'm supposed to let this resolve and force the Hogak, and that buys me enough time. I just need to draw a land off the top. That's kind of a an iffy. Tabernacle is not good, though. Tabernacle is bad on this board. They'll just pay for the oof. Or I guess they'll just pay for the, the Hogak, and that's it. That's an interesting idea. I don't think I beat the Hogak, though. <laughs> <laughs> and if I counter the Hogak, and then I tabernacle the board, then my opponent pays for the oof every turn. Maybe that is a play. It's kind of an interesting idea. I mean, I think no matter what, I should be forcing this Hogak. I'm not out Tinker. I can still Tinker at any point drawing a land. I don't... I think I'm still supposed to keep Tinker. I think I'm winning this game via Tinker. I'm just not convinced I'm supposed to keep uh, Tabernacle on top. Uh, actually, it's probably fine. I just have to make sure I fetch before the next draw. Maybe, like, I feel like they pay for Oof here, right? I guess, theoretically, if they order it correctly, or it orders itself correctly, they could choose not to pay for Oof, and then pay for both Root Wallas, and then try to play a Hogak again. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It, I, the, it didn't bug out. <laughs> okay, so now they are just going to activate Bazaar and go for another Hogak. Okay, so maybe I made a mistake then. That puts how many cards in their yard? Three cards, and then they have enough to play Hogak. Oh god, it's, is it going to trigger Vine? Man. Watch them have Wasteland follow-up, too. They have Hollow One follow-up. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're in it to win it. We just need, we need a top deck of land, I guess. It's our only out. I mean, they can only pay for Hogak. Oh, I guess this Vengevine hits me. Holy crap. They actually can pay for this Hogak. This Vengevine hits me to 11, and I die on the next turn. Oh, I actually I can draw Moxin. You're right, because I killed off the Collector Roof. Okay, cool. I mean, I have a lot of outs. Mana producing things that are not Opal, right? Okay, well... I don't even hate the way I played this game. I think we just needed to draw better. I'm pretty sure we're winning that game on a lot of draws, right? So. Oh, I didn't board in Needle? 
Justin, how loose are we playing today? <laughs> how loose am I playing today? Mm, this hand kind of blows. It's really good against like a turn one multiple hollow one hand, but it doesn't do my proactively strong thing. What? I mean, I put myself in a position to win the game. Uh, the play that I chose wins the game with any mana producing thing in my deck. And that's like, I don't know, most of my deck. So I don't really, I don't think I dislike the Tinker line I took. Oh boy. I guess I'm going to, this hand is so bad if they go for just a natural collector roof play. Holy moly. I don't think this is a keep. Uh, no, we can't. That's not true. We can determine who has a higher percentage chance of winning. <laughs> so one of us is right. <laughs> we could both like have a similar chance, and I guess at that point, both of us could be right, but I don't think that's the case. I really don't like this hand chat. I think this hand is like good against Squee. I would snap keep this against Squee. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to bottom tabernacle, play a, a, a Tormod's Crypt and say go? They'll just know that I'm on tabernacle. This doesn't even progress towards PO in a meaningful way. I don't think this is a keep. I keep this against Squee, but I, I think this is not good against Hogak. This hand's worse, but what's a guy to do? I go to four. My opponent's on five. I'm just like, there's like, my opponent can have two types of draws, right? They can have a draw where Tabernacle is insane, and they can have a draw where they play Collector Roof and murder me. Or have Vigor. They're down to five cards. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I just don't think this is a winning hand. Like, if my... It doesn't beat... It doesn't beat a lot of things. I Just give me a Tinker or a Twister, man. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Deluge doesn't beat Oof in that hand, because I have to put back so much non moxin mana that I don't have enough mana to cast it. Uh, that's not very good. Spellseeker isn't good, and Spellseeker is much better than that card. I'm on mold of four, and my opponent's on mold of five at the moment. So I'm on four. I'm going to keep Mana Crypt, uh, Snow Covered Island, Sensei's Top, and Ponder. And I'm just going to go for Broke on turn two. All right, they kept their hand. What the? F no, 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 none of these. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> I am in physical pain. You want to hit Archon of Amiria, Hold Breacher, and Opposition Agent without having to trigger Revolt? I'm just dead. I've mulliganed too deep. It's possible my hand uh, was with Crypt and uh, and Tar Tabernacle would have been good against a Bizarre Draw, but I, like, there are so many draws that they can keep that... Oh my god, I wish I had my Tabernacle. I wish I had uh, kept my Fetch Land and gone for... 
I, if I had kept my fetch land and gone for, um, I could have drawn vamp and gone for tab. I mean, this is a, this is a hand which tabernacle would just be the nuts, right? And that's like, I mean, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I, I could have taken. I just think there's like so. I think a large part of Hogak's appeal is that it doesn't always have this hand. And like, if they had gone turn one, oof or supplier or something, it just doesn't work out. I, I it, you're, 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 you won a coin flip. What are you, what are you happy about? Uh, I still have two tabernacles that I can draw into too. Like, I can also, you know, spin and see a tinker here and win the game on the spot. So, like, there's a lot of other things happening. Spin in for tinker, please. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Nope. Uh... I don't think this is a good play, but I don't care anymore. I'm just going to flip my game here. Well, the, the, the thing is like, there are two ways to play the post board games versus Hogak. You can theoretically stop them from doing their game plan, but the best way to beat Hogak is to do your game plan. If I'm casting Tinker and Time Twister and Mentor, that's much more powerful and much more consistent than me trying to stop their game plan where they can have two different things going on. Like... If in any of my London mulligans from seven to four, I had hit a Tinker plus Mana Crypt or a Time Twister plus Mana Crypt or any of those turns, then I actually am just one on the spot. So you put the other cards in your deck to slow them down to allow you to execute your game plan. Like, you have to be flexible. All right. Uh, I don't know. Why? I shuffled, man. I shuffled. <laughs> it didn't work out. Nothing has really worked out today. I just think that the hand on six with the tabernacle and the mana, like I can't, so there are multiple problems. One, I can't play um, Sapphire Soul Ring because that exposes me to vigor. It's just not a good play. So my only play with that other hand is Tabern is, is Tormod's Crypt Go. If I'm an opponent and I see my opponent go Tormod's Crypt Go, the only thing I'm thinking about is, oh my God, they must have Tabernacle. So then you just don't go all in and you just play around Tabernacle, especially if you have a land drop. Like, if, if, if I go Tormod's Crypt Go, and you have, like, Fetch Land, Death Rite Shaman, you just slam Fetch Rite, Death, Death Rite Shaman. Oh, maybe you have, like, if you see Tormod's Crypt, maybe you slam Mox Collector Oof. Like, I just don't, I think my hand is so telegraphed because it doesn't have a single piece of actual mana in it. If my hand, instead of Dress Down, had a Fetch Land, then I can go Fetch Land, Tormod's Crypt, go, and I think that's actually, like, a very legitimate line. But because my hand is only Artifact Mana, so I can't play into Force of Vigor, it's only Tormod's Crypt, so I can't even play a Land Drop for turn, um, my opponent just has a clear vision of what I'm trying to do and just easily counterplays it. I have to then top deck, like, extremely well to stop them. Um, I just don't think it's a key. I, I just can't see a world where you can keep that versus Hogak and say it's the correct call. Uh, if you're playing against Squee, sure. I think that's a totally keepable hand against Squee because for Squee, you, like, it's really a lot about stopping them from what they're doing. But it's so much easier to stop Squee from their game plan than stopping uh, Hogak from their game plan. So, I mean, that's how I look at it. Like, we mowed the four and we missed. It happens. You just move on. Here we go, eighth and final round of this super qualifier. Uh, let's see what we can do. 
yeah, 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 these are, yeah, yeah. Those are the hands I was looking for, I agree. Yeah. I would like access to my restricted Magic the Gathering card. Cool. Sweet. Turn one mentor go. Turn two ancestral with force and sensei's top. I guess this hand still loses to bizarre. Which now that I think about it, but it's really basically great against every other deck. Okay, workshops. All right. This hand is quite good against workshops. My whole deck is quite good against workshops. I still play four Hercules in my 75 because I got to respect it. Uh oh wow, that's a good start. Um yeah, I'll force it. I don't really feel like playing through that. Looks like they get to play a three ball after if they have it, but we should still be winning through that currently. Relic. Okay, so they're a prison prison shops. They have a sphere relic. No, they act exiled it. Interesting. Okay, well, they're super, super dead. I mean they can have tabernacle, I guess, but like this might just this turn might just be lethal. This might just be a turn two kill. Well, didn't hit another blue mana, so it's not a turn two kill. But we are about to make a million monks. Maybe I end up spinning a top to try to find a, a mana so that we don't lose like too badly to Tabernacle. We did find uh, multiple pieces of mana. I don't know like how much this changes anything though. Does it really change anything? I have like uh just like a multiple tops that I can just keep playing. I don't know. There there might have been a way I could have uh extracted more value here. But I think I am fine with what we've accomplished. <laughs> we've actually uh I guess this is something to be said about the triple top version of this deck. We have done the the mentor double top trick like many times today. So that's kind of a nice part of a nice upgrade here is like some somehow we made our mentor more powerful. Uh all right, so we get to bring in um three three Hercules recalls and then we get to bring in opposition agent for Golos and um Saga and then we possibly bring in dress we Probably don't bring in cut down to be honest, because it doesn't hit. It only hits revoker, so we have dress down. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm I I'm sorry if it's not perfect play. I'm a little bit on autopilot right now at three four. Uh, definitely, definitely, there are things that could have been improved on for sure. Sorry about that. Let's just do this. Take these out. Oh, we can bring in Sphinx too. I'm gonna leave in Sphinx and Citadel. I typically do that. Um, lets you like if you have Hercules, you can go Hercules Citadel, but if you don't have Hercules, you can just go uh Slam Sphinx. We'll take out one top. All right, this is nice. Uh, we had what 16, we had 15, 17, we probably had 19 damage if I play Brainstorm correctly, right? This hand is very risky, but probably worth keeping. Yeah. It's a sphere. Oh. Well, that's problematic. Can't say I wanted to see that one. The good news is if we do hit another land, we are in good shape. But if we don't hit another land and they play a sphere or something here, we're probably in really rough times. Like I said, it was a bit of a risky call, but I think it was within range. On land, okay. This is good. It means they don't have a sphere in their hand. Um, like I said, if we hit fetch land, then we and we end the step Hercules. I can't imagine we lose. We'll be like pretty close to demonic tinker, pretty close to PO being mana neutral. Get a an opposition agent in play, steal a saga, get a lotus or something. 
lots of really strong choices. Here, they should definitely just name Sapphire in case for some reason I were to like have a, a Steel Sabotage or something for Null Rod, probably. They would name Narset. All right, well, I cut my Narset, so... No, I didn't really want to see that one. We'll probably still get to avoid Sphere here because they want Saga Tokens. Okay, well, we have a bunch of uh, basics in our deck, so the Wasteland is not the hugest deal, though it might stop us from playing, like, Demonic Tutor, but we're probably going to go for the PO kill if we hit a land drop anyways. Okay, well, we haven't hit the land drop. But it's not super likely to have hit the land drop. It's not really much, you know, I, like I said, it was a risky hand. Dolrod is definitely much stronger there than something like a Sphere, so... Definitely came up to bite us. As I, but the game is still not over, right? We have access, again, to 12 lands in our deck. Oh, that's not where we wanted to go. So we're 12 and 49. And th something like a Talarian Academy is quite good. Yeah, yeah, any any land. Um, and we have, like, Hercules into Hercules, and we would win the game, I think. But, uh, you know, just missing lands. Misty Rainforest. Nice. Do I have multiple Misties in my deck? Two. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not going well. Like, we're also kind of lucky my opponent has no spheres, right? They've played a bunch of Revokers, and Revokers don't seem to matter as much. One of the downsides now is, though, that I can't end step Hercules. I probably have to just do it on my turn, but the good news is I have Mana Crypt, right? So, if I hit a fetch land that's not a Misty Rainforest, or any kind of land that produces mana, I can go Hercules into Mana Crypt into Self-Sufficient PO. I hit Mentor. Okay, we die. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. Like, you could theoretically mulligan that hand. Come on, man. <laughs> you can theoretically mulligan that hand on the basis that if they have a sphere, it's kind of weak. But uh, I don't really like to mulligan those kind of hands against shops on the draw. We had extra mana. It just heard, happened. so happened that our extra mana was uh, it was Null Rod and not Sphere. So it, and everything ended up being very hard to play through. Now we get to be on the play, and um, we're extremely favored. We can theoretically um, think about playing around Mind Break Trap, but we could also just not do that either. Yeah. That's kind of happened a lot today, honestly. I think we've made some like reasonable decisions that just didn't work out. And that's you got to be ready to do that. Um, that's an interesting hand. Wow, that is a very interesting hand. Unfortunately, this hand like lends to a very early opposition agent, in which case we don't get to extract value off of like a Golos or a Saga, and then our PO is just one, one short on turn one. If this opposition agent was instead that top that we mulliganed, I guess we still wouldn't have had enough mana. Mm, that's a weird hand. I think it's bad. I kind of want to put it back. It's so close, obviously. But I think it's just not good. Yeah, I don't really like this hand. I'm gonna mulligan it. Um, that's unfortunate. Let's mulligan again. Uh, why? Why is this happening? Um. Okay, let's mulligan again. Hmm. Yep. Bottom. <laughs> Do I just put them both forces and just hope that we get there to twist? I don't think so. I think I don't expose this ruby to a revoker. I don't really know what opponent is going to keep that this is going to be good against, but... Maybe, oh my god, are they just going to, like, statue us? What is happening? This isn't even good anymore. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just not the day. It's, today is not the day. It's fine. And sometimes it's not the day. Okay, th none of those cards did anything. No, none, of, none of those cards did anything. Hold on. Hold on. 
I mean, I am giving them an entire new hand for no reason. But, uh, I have to. I'm not playing around my break trap either. Twist? Okay. Wait. It might be a win. It might be a win. So we cast time walk and then we merchant for PO. No, we merchant for Tinker and just go for Tinker. No, we can't merchant for Tinker. That's still cheating. Wait, we merchant for uh, uh, Mystical Tutor and we go for Tinker. What is the percentage chance based on what I have right now? PO versus Mystical Tinker. I could theoretically Hercules their hand back and do a Yog Will. I guess we have Twister Time Walk, so we should we should probably go Ancestral. No, Ancestral's worse than PO, right? At all times here. Because PO resets your blue mana. But it's better with Will. Um, I don't know what the right one is here. I know with my luck today that I really don't want to go for Mystical Tinker. I'm going to go P.O. I think that's better. It also opens us up to drawing another Moxon as well. <laughs> Nice. Oh, now I'm going to cast Ancestral. Yeah, this game is over, actually. Opponent didn't have any lock pieces. They had 10 mana plus uh, Mystic Forge, and their Mystic Forge missed on lock pieces. I'm lagging like a... Something fierce here. Uh, probably just supposed to go. I'm just trying to combo kill my opponent here. I don't really think anything else matters. Just trying to figure out what the best way to do that is. I think we can just go. I kind of want to cast this brainstorm. I don't know why. I mean, what do I want to do here? I have so many choices. I think I want to reset. I kind of want to fetch or something. There's no way for me to... I can just scroll for something. I guess I could just fetch, but I lose out my ability to Tolarian Academy. It's probably fine. Right. All right, that's that's deterministic. I have demonic mentor into time walk. I can PO one more time though, because it's fine.
I can also make a bunch of mana with purples. Nothing really matters. All right, I guess we get to sneak by at a 50% win rate, huh? I did not think we were winning that game after my opponent led on... Um, after my opponent led on 10 mana, but I, the Mystic Forge gods did us good in that game. We'll take it. I need to ho hopefully the round finish it doesn't finish and I can reset my uh reset my client before data because I am lagging so badly. Opponent, you can concede to this time walk if you'd like. Nah. Okay, this is the fun part for me, so. Should we twist her for fun, too? Put it back in your hand. All right, I'm, if you're going to let me play with my food, I'll play with my food. I guess we could technically draw seven lands here. All right, that's enough of that. We can cast a couple more POs in this game if we'd like as well. Oh, that's a nice way to end the game, I guess. I kind of think Time Twister was actually like reasonable today. It was kind of a an experiment, but it worked out. All right, so we end up 4-4. Four, four. Uh, not a bad finish by any means. Um, well, not, I mean, it's not a good finish. <laughs> so what do I think about the deck choice? I think the deck choice was fine, but I did not expect the uh, the matchups that I played today. I played against four Pyroblast decks. I played against um, Standstill. Um, well, you can make Time Twister not a coin flip, but it also provides you with a ton of extra power, right? Where like you're kind of you kind of want your last PO slots to be more powerful cards, um, so uh, I thought that the dress downs were very good. I thought the sensei's top was good. I thought the twister was fine. Um, obviously, the twister could be like another repeal or something, but I, I kind of like have like I've been trying to cut down on the clunky cards so that I don't have any as many like mulligans because like hey we drew you know we drew Karn Mentor Twister Yogwill Narset and now we can't play that kind of thing. Um, the mana base worked out really well. Triple Island is pretty good. Um, I mean, like, if you want to make your Time Twister better, you can play some Hole Breachers in your deck, and it's totally fine. Um, a Hole Breacher doesn't play super well with Dress Down, but... The Deluge was... I think the Deluge is the most, the most suspect card in the deck. The Cutdown was bad once and fine every other time. It was bad the one time I tried to kill a Tarmogoyf with it, and I could not kill a Tarmogoyf with it. <laughs> um, the rest of the deck was medium i don't know like, like i said i think the matchups went really poorly for us i think i played medium minus i would say i played like below average so that didn't really help and then i don't think we hit the cards we really needed to or at least it was sporadic like we had a bunch of really strong draws and we had a bunch of really bad draws we did a lot of mulliganing towards the end of the tournament which definitely impacted our results towards the end um, like I said, I, I do think like the first round was maybe the worst single worst match of magic I've ever streamed, which is cool. I mean, we get to have it on replay and we can look back and go, wow, that man was not well, not awake <laughs> and learn some, uh, third, but learn some mistakes. So, uh, overall, I think mentor is definitely correct. I'm definitely glad I didn't go for blue, black tendrils, which I almost did. Uh, I almost played a grim monolith instead of. Instead of maybe Time Twister, or maybe it was a Dress Down. And I don't think the Grim Monolith would have been very good today. So, 
things to learn. I definitely could have played Lavinia. I, I don't know. I, I think if I knew I was going to be playing against the decks that I played against today, I would not have chosen to play this deck. I don't know exactly what deck I would have chosen. I was considering Squee for this tournament, but then there was a ton of Hogak on Saturday. And I was considering um, Oops All Spells, Tinker Saga, Breach, Squee. Like, basically everything. I think the the meta right now is pretty wide open. If you look at Saturday's... um. If you look at Saturday games, Saturday's metagame, no deck had more than six pilots. And there was something like um, 14 or 15 decks represented. And that's a couple of, a couple of those categories contain multiple decks in them, like uh, Grixis and, and Esper Tinker. So, like, right now, I think there are strong decks in the format, but I don't think any deck is, like, a standout deck. And I think you can play anything you want and have success, which is really cool. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm sad we didn't get to win another P2Q on stream, but it is what it is. Uh, I will put out new vintage content on my YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. I will see you then.